But we're back at it again, guys. Week 52, episode 52. I am back. We have our host today. We have Ron. What's good? We have Terrell. What the f*** is going on? Oh, wait, hold on. This has to go on YouTube. I gotta cut that out. Damn. Let's go with y'all young boys, man. <laughs> and then we have Denzel himself. What's good? Hope everybody having a good day today. Good, that's good. We're going to get into some interesting topics and see where everybody's head's at, but how's everybody's mental cognitive doing man, today? Hold on, man. I can't curse, so hold on. 52 weeks consistent, man. A year of doing this shit, man. 52 weeks. You started this shit a year ago, bro. A year ago. The, where the energy at, man? Then I got some greasy ass fucking lips. <laughs> oh shit, Devin over man. here melancholy as fuck. Hey man. I'm looking like Passion. The weekday. Passion, bro. Passion. <laughs> hey man. I'm straight, man. I'm great. You know what I'm saying? We here. We living. I got spliffed the last episode. We back. The mm-hmm. Matrix cannot hold me down. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, we'll start using our hands one. like this. We're gonna start having our hands like this now when we talk. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Free big <How> tape. <laughs> How you doing, Denzel? I'm great. I'm glad. I'm glad the second half of the light skin brotherhood is here. <laughs> it's always good to have the OGs back. Uh, PC I, light shining, keyboard glistening, Mike crispy. <laughs> I like that. How you, how you doing, Rod? I'm good, bro. <clears throat> I'm fantastic, actually. Week 52. Episode 52. You already know what it do, man. We was going crazy. Better get with us. Get right or get left. What fuck you talking about? Hey, happy Valentine's man, Day, 52. everybody. I forgot about that. Yeah, happy belated. Valentine's happy belated Day. Valentine's Day, yo. Yeah, I mean, fuck Valentine's Day. No, I'm playing. Nah, nah, we, nah, I, mean, we nah. Love, we, I give love every day. You know, I don't need a specific day for that shit. That, that's, mm. that's my next point. You shouldn't need a holiday or a specific day to do something special for your loved ones. Facts. And speaking of that, we can get right into the first motherfucking topic. So let me, let me ask y'all something real quick. So if you're dating somebody or if you're married, I mean, none of us here are married. I'm the only one with a girlfriend, really. But I'm sure y'all going to have, like, the same opinion. So... If you're in a relationship, shout out on us real quick. You was shitting on us real quick. Nah. I sh- <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, look, look. If you're in a relationship, right? Do you have to ask your significant other? It was really for the men. Would you ask your significant other to be a Valentine? No. Or do you feel like it's important no. to? No. It, it comes with the territory. I want to ask yeah, him my Valentine, but I'll give him some shit though. I'll give him something. Uh, I like if you're in a relationship. Hand in hand, that's like kind of that's already sealed in the contract when y'all even started dating. You, you shouldn't even have to ask, you should just pull up with chocolate, flowers, and the necessity shit. Like, what's the point of asking when y'all already going out? Like, who else is going to be the Valentine? <laughs> that's that's textbook saying. knowledge right there. You feel what I'm saying? Like, who else Dude. is going to be the Valentine? That's so valid because I feel like. If you're single, then obviously you got to ask somebody because you yeah. don't have nobody. But I already have a designated person. I feel like if you ask, if the person is requiring you to ask, it's almost like saying that there's a possibility for me to have a different Valentine than the person that I'm dating. You know what I'm saying? That don't really make sense to me. Like, I mean, I guess there can be a sweet gesture for Valentine's Day. Like, It depends on how y'all look at it because if they look at it as it's the gesture, like you're you're doing something romantic, then maybe I can see it, but it just doesn't make sense because you're gonna be my you're damn near my Valentine for the rest of my motherfucking life. Like if we dating, especially especially if we're married, I ain't asking you no more shit. I ask for your hand in marriage. I don't ask for nothing else. Like, you know what I mean? Like you're you're 
to my wife, man. I, I made vows to you in front of God, in front of my whole family. You know what I'm saying? And, and in front of everybody. So why do I need to ask you to be my Valentine? Like that's an everyday thing. You're always my Valentine. You're always my lover. You're always special to me. This this one day, this date isn't gonna change shit. I can I mean? see we, the I can see the other side though. I can see it being like part of celebrating Valentine's Day. Like you know what I'm but, I, but I feel like exactly if you do, if you say the example, you do take our hand in marriage. Like everything that comes with the territory, even if you're just girlfriend and boyfriend, like you shouldn't have to ask. It should just be something that's already up. Oh, Valentine's Day is here. All right, let me pull up this flowers and chocolate. Take you out to a nice dinner or something. I don't know. It's just like certain shit that as a man that's already should be wired into your brain. So it's like you shouldn't even have even have to think twice about that shit. You good, King? You're breathing kind of hard. You straight? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> this man breathing out air and shit like he, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, he, 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 he sat back and did this. He was like. Yeah, that, them fans taking up all, them oxy, all that oxygen in that room. <laughs> Oh my goodness! That's just snatching that shit up. That's terrible, bro. That's that's bad. That's... Damn, the intake. If y'all didn't know, you want to turn your camera to your PC real quick? Yeah, no, no, I can't because my hands greasy. I gotta. Yeah. I gotta I'm gonna go. You got no napkin, my boy. I don't got. You no got napkin. no wet wipes. He was, he was no, no. He was not, not nearby. Prepared. Not nearby. I gotta go get some. Shit, fuck it. Use right. the pants. It's just the guys. Hit him with the. You know what I'm saying? Wipe this shit real quick. <laughs> I know y'all old heads be hitting that. Got saliva all on your fingertips and shit. Oh, it's shit. God damn, we ain't cutting this out either. Fuck you talking yeah, it's about. it's staying in here too. <laughs> Got your PJs on. For real. He always in PJs though. Let's be real. Tall I mean, ass, yeah. Well, that's the only thing that fit them legs. <laughs> He's stepping for real. The big stepper. <laughs> um, <laughs> One small step for man, face ass. But every small leap. leap. <laughs> every small step is a leap for mankind. Look at this. Face ass, I'm on his shit. Oh, shit. Poppy's <laughs> playtime body ass. I'm on his shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> back to the subject at hand. I don't know, bro. I can see, I can see it being fun. Like You only do it like once a year. You feel me? So I can mm-hmm. see it being like some sort of fun, like yeah, let me ask her, blah blah blah. Even though I know I know I don't have to, but you know, celebrating Valentine's Day. So I can see it. I can see it. Does it come with the tear? Like, should you have? Is it like a requirement? No, but like to partake in the the fun of the the shit of yeah. the holiday, then yeah, I can see it. I can see like I wouldn't be opposed to it. You know what I mean? I wouldn't yeah. be opposed to doing it. I wouldn't be like, hell no, I'm not doing that. Like, there's no, there's no reason for that. But, um, I mean, I'm just saying, like, it's not like it shouldn't be a deal breaker. You like, you, yeah. you honestly can't be upset if the guy's like, nah, I don't really feel like it. Like, I feel like he's entitled to that. Like, yeah, how to what? <sighs> to saying no, like, the, like, okay. So what we're saying is. <laughs> <clears throat> the fun or the romance in celebrating Valentine's Day, celebrating the holiday. Well, if you want to call it that, I guess it is a holiday. It's an American holiday. Well, actually, do they celebrate it everywhere? Or is it just an American thing? No, I everywhere. think it's it's everywhere. Mm, okay, so like the fun in celebrating the holiday is like it's the day of love. So you ask for um, ask someone to be your Valentine. Like even though it's most likely always your significant other, right? Like it's always your girlfriend. The one you're talking to, like, your wife, yeah. right? So what we're saying is, if the guy is saying, like, I mean, like, why would I have to, why should I have to ask you? Like, I mean, even though you should, like, do it, if y'all, like, celebrating the day, I feel like if he doesn't want to, because he feels like it's unnecessary, he's entitled to that. Because he shouldn't need to if y'all already are dating. Mm-hmm. Exclusively, like especially yeah. if y'all are in a serious yeah. relationship. Yeah, in that case, yeah, I agree, one hundred percent. Yeah, that, that's that brings me to. If yeah. y'all not together, then he don't. Even if you're not dating, he don't have to actually just do something for you. Yeah, I mean, it's just a, really a gesture. Yeah, I mean, but like, if I'm not dating somebody, like if I'm not exclusive, we're just talking, I'm getting to know them, then I'll ask them because it's romantic, right? You're like you're being sweet. I'd like to mm-hmm. let them know that like they're the person that I have on my mind for this day. I want to give them my love and attention on this day. If we're not serious, like if I'm just trying to to court her, you know, I would do it because obviously like that is important to women. 
right? Like romance, um, making them feel special and cherished and loved. That's very important to women. So of course I'm gonna do that, you know, because that's what I want. Like I, I'm attracted to you. I want I want you. So I'm gonna do, you know, I'm gonna show you that. Yeah. But like if we're just dating already, like the the point is if we're dating already, I should be doing that 24 seven. Not 24 seven, but I should already be doing that on a daily basis. I should already be nourishing this flower in our relationship right. so i i shouldn't have to be like oh on this day this is the day the one day of the year that i really gotta put like no you know what yeah, i'm saying you, I bum ass, be... you bum ass fat ass men out there that don't be putting no effort in until valentine's day try to get some last second cards and and flowers and shit be paying the the resale on them no, flowers hell I'm, nah. <laughs> I'm the type of nigga that'll do that shit on a random ass thursday in the middle of the year like because like you don't want to be something. like everybody else. I just do that, but like, like we about to go out. Like, it's a random ass Thursday. Where we going? Don't worry about all that. We going out. Time of our lives. Mm -hmm. Where would you take her? Let's, let's let's dive into this. Where would you take her? Shit. Where would we go? Romantic we go. Though. We'll go somewhere to have an activity, like to do something. Probably like maybe like a golf course. Top golf. Um, Defy. She never been there. It's just some place she never really been. Do that for a couple hours. Maybe go go eat afterwards. Then maybe watch a movie or something. And then, you know, demon time after that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, the, the golf course is valid. Like, top golf is fine. Uh, mini golfing is actually a lot of fun. Yeah. It can get really competitive. It's easy for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Mini golfing. You just putt, putt. And then... I feel like that's fire. Uh, what's, an, what's another good one? Like spots that y'all would go. We said Dave and Buster's before. Dave and Buster's is fire. Yeah. It's kind I of go hard, like, like I go like to painting, like go paint, like do some art, arts and crafts mm -hmm. shit, or make yeah, something dope. like clay. Just like I'm some little artsy that. shit, you know. Mm -hmm. And then take her out to like one of my favorite spots. That, you know, depending on what her mood is or what her food type is, I'll compensate by taking her to one of my favorite spots of that food choice. So. Yeah, take her take her on the wards, <laughs> the fifth ward. Yeah, oh, the Galleria. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, demon time today. Yeah, you know. Or painting with the twist. Painting with the twist is fire. If that's what I'm saying, like, yeah. like yeah. take like, yeah. you know, a skull thing. You know, I met some girls that they, they just want to go to the art museum. I mean, it's just it's all about like what they what they prefer. What's their preference? Museums, bro. Museums you know what's underrated? What people what? don't go to anymore when they talk about going on dates. What? The zoo. The zoo is trash. I'm not the zoo, as fuck. It's like when I look at the zoo and I compare that to SeaWorld, it's like, do I really want to watch animals captivated in their whole life cycle? Just sitting there waiting for getting food. Depressing. Hey bro. You, like, got, you got that lion exhibit. That lion yeah, looked like you he, he about had the it. Gorillas, <laughs> yep. The gorillas too. They just looking at your ass like bro. Make one false move and bang on that glass. I'm beating you up. Or you go to that, that one exhibit, be like, yeah, this is the, the such and such giraffe. Giraffe be all the way in the back in the cut. Yeah, it's just looking at your ass like, bro. For real. Don't touch in me. the bushes. Like, yeah. Yeah. cool in. out of here. I'll never go back to a sea world or a zoo. Fuck it no. smells like shit out there. That's what I'm saying. It smells like literally animals. And it's, just the fact, it's just the fact that you got to dress up in a garbage ass khaki colored UPS bootleg uniform just to go feed them. Yeah. Like, bro, like, nah, bro, you got it, bro. I'm not doing that. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. The exhibits are kind of cool. Not the, not the, like the animal exhibits, but like when you inside and you learning about the animals. Yeah, that's cool. That's, the educational yeah, part, cool. a little that's fun a... shit. Like they show you the size of like the deadliest spider in the world. You put your hand in, you feel the pain. Yeah. shit, like stuff like that. That's cool. But like walking around and just seeing them sad ass, like tired yeah, ass. Yeah, like animals. bro, like they, they. This is the, this is their life for the rest of their life. Now. Sad ass, this, tired this, ass. this is this is what they're doing for the rest of their life. While you just go over here and have like a thirty minute trip. Yeah. They gotta sit here and day in day out. <laughs> Don't get to see their real family. You put a bunch with a bunch of random ass family members that don't even yeah with your right, popcorn bro. in your hands. I know this. Yeah. I know this, yeah. I know this is bad, but the way y'all describe it, it is just too fucking funny. Hey, you just eat this like I just cook oh. it all. Soup. Look at the hippos. Look at the hippos. Hippos. depressed ass hippos. Never <laughs> used the hippos. Hippos like bro, like. <laughs> 
Yeah, you feel he me? Said, the like, about you you got popcorn in your hands and looking at himself. Hey, bro, just eating popcorn. Snot nosed ass look, kid. Look, 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 hands falling off the ass. Yeah, yeah, throwing shit, shit into a fucking banging on, shit. banging on the glass. <laughs> yeah, like, nah. Banging on the glass, upsetting the door, upset the grills. Grills looking at you like, bro, I wish this nigga would. <laughs> You seen the yeah. videos of them running into the glass? Like, bitch, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 the one that ran up and then turned around and put his, like, ass cheeks against the, the glass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck him up. Yeah. <laughs> That's how they be yeah, feeling. They be like, bro, fuck, you want to record this, something? Dude. Record this shit. Look at you this. Yeah, the monkeys throwing poop. You seen the, the video of the monkey throwing that bottle at somebody's camera? That shit uh, hit the camera. I was like, God, scope their shit. She had, like, a little cut up here. I was like, yep. Damn. Play with him if you want to. Yeah, nah, I'm, sure I'm good. I mean, the zoo was cool back then when we didn't know all this, but... I love yeah, getting those like, like plastic figurines. Like you yeah. pay, like put some money in, and it would uh, print you out, uh, um, like a lion yeah, or some yeah, shit. Yeah. Remember that? That yeah. was cool. And then getting the tokens, like when you would put like a quarter. I think it's a penny. You put a penny in the machine, and it carves like a design into it. You know what yeah. I'm talking about? And then like now you got this special coin. Stuff That's like that is cool. I think what would be what would be like a better alternative is going to like the like the animal rescue and like rehabilitation places. Mm-hmm. Where they take like endangered species, or they they'll like care for turtles and then like release them back, because like you get to actually do an activity and learn about like what's going on with that with that species of animal. So mm-hmm. I think that's cool. Like going there if you could find one if it's nearby, like yeah. the one for like aquatic life and um, uh, reptiles and shit. I think yeah, that's cool. commercial cleaning up them ducks. That's what I'm, I mean. I think that's just cool to be honest. Like you helping, like you doing something, you being productive, you learning. It's educational. And then, like, y'all kind of getting to know each other because, I mean, just walking around the zoo, like, if you're not really going to those exhibits, it's like, whatever. But what's, what I would say also, like, on the other hand, I don't know if y'all ever been to, like, the Frost Museum, like, the Museum of Science and, like, uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's called the Frost Museum. There's, like, one in Miami. I mean, I know y'all haven't been, but it's, like, a planetarium, which is cool yeah. as shit. And then mm-hmm. also there's like different puzzles and things that you can do that while you're learning there? about like the marine life. What'd you oh. say? You said in the science museum we're talking about space in there or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean it's a it's a it's called like the Frost Science Frost Museum. Me- yeah, the Frost and, Science and, Museum. And Planetarium, I think that's what it is. I went with Brittany and it's cool as shit. I'm not gonna lie. It's really cool. Like they got like glide up floors, like you step and the floors respond. Really beautiful place. There's like a bunch of jellyfish and um like sharks in there like they're like in the wall so like you walk in and like the whole wall is a tank so like you see the jellyfish and sharks and then to the left they have different diagrams telling you about like every um life form like every mammal like all the shits that are in there and then they give you like uh, a presentation and then you can go and see them if you want to and then there's like a you know how they have like that big ass bowl it's like a black bowl and you roll like a, a quarter, and then the quarter goes around. Oh yeah, yeah, like yeah. How the solar system is. They have that. It's like there's so much stuff in there. I went, I went back in 2019. The planetarium is massive. Like I literally sat in there, and it was just pitch black, stars all around. It was like rotating and shit. Yeah, it was crazy. Got type vibes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was. It was crazy. Same way. Mm-hmm. I would definitely go again, but you know, I shout mean, out an hour and a half. So I mean, shout out, you a, said Mass Effect's the same way. I'm sick. I'm fucking dead. There's a, there's a Japanese garden in Florida, the, the Murakami or Murakami fucking Japanese garden. Got cherry that shit looks lit. I be seeing that shit every time I go up there to see Rod on the way back, I'll see it like a sign for it. I'm like, I'm gonna have to try that. Go in there and get one, one of them cherry blossom seeds, put that shit in his yard. <laughs> Rob look like an anime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get like the peonies. For the one time. For the one time. <laughs> Bowling is also bowling's also a, a good uh date. A little bowling date is valid. Yeah. Bowling is valid. I would go say bowling, bowling, but I think y'all, I thought y'all go toast me for saying bowling. Nah. Mm-hmm. Anything mm-hmm. anything is better than the fucking movie theaters. We we spoke about yeah, 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 fuck the movie, movie theaters. theaters like a like an asinine one and done date. That's like an old school shit. Like that's yeah. like nineties, eighties. The driving you know theater know? is different though. The driving is more. Yeah, that's what I mean. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Driving, is driving. Yeah, driving theaters. Like if you, but that's that's an excellent shit. Cause y'all yeah. can actually talk to each you, other. And, like, you, spend yeah, time. you can actually yeah. talk to each other in the comfort of your own shit. So. Yeah, that's valid. That's lit. Yeah, yeah. that's real valid. Honestly, because what you gotta tune into the station, right? Like, yeah, you use yeah. your radio to tune into like the sound, and then like y'all can have y'all own snacks. It's not like you can't bring this shit into the theater. Your own drinks. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can just like if you got uh, one of those pickups, you can reverse into that shit, and then like just lay mm. out in the pickup. I think I think those are valid. Like, cause this is more that's interactive. Valid. Just going into unless like 
y'all really trying to see a movie that like like it's like a series or not a series but like you know how they Every have like movie. a trilogy yeah it's like some shit came out that y'all really wanted to see y'all were talking about it y'all go to dinner or like lunch first mm -hmm. and then go to the theater like adding it it's like good for like a fourth fifth date some shit after the ice has been broken <laughs> I yeah. feel yeah. like then i would go because like, i went with britney to see um child's play like a like a long actually we used to go to see movies a lot we went to see child's play we went to see um those scary stories you tell in the dark like a bunch of horror movies and it's like after we had spent time together like watching shit and then like hanging out playing games like all kinds of stuff so after we did that we went and see like we went and saw the the horror movies and it's like something we could talk about because we both like horror movies you know what i'm yeah. saying mm -hmm. i wouldn't just be like you know let me take you to a movie because you just end the movie and that's it and then afterwards like what you gonna do no, yeah, that's like, true. Do you think Axe Throwing is a good spot? I think I think Axe Throwing was better as a group, but like, yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like, uh, it's like a, that's something you do with the boys, Axe Throwing, because like a date, Axe Throwing, that just doesn't, cool, that doesn't fit We've the vibe a of a date. We've yeah, seen we saw a couple. A couple. There. I mean, couple if, there. if it works, it works. But like, if we talk about the general context of what a date is. I mean, I guess that could fall in line, but at the same time, it's like that's like more of an activity with the boys. Yeah, like you just talking shit. You like, oh, your aim is ass. Like you didn't even hit the fucking mark. It's a big ass <laughs> target you got. Yeah, hey, like, bro, that's something more competitive. I think. That's what I'm saying. More yeah. competitive. I mean, I mean, it, maybe like, dark, like you though, said before, I think that. it depends on like what the girl likes. Like, yeah, if she's what, what she likes. Shit like that. Like if she's yeah. like if she lives an active lifestyle or some shit, yeah. she's like really competitive, and it could be cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, cause it's it's really no different than like archery or bowling. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, it could be, but I think you're right though. Like as a group activity, like maybe if you get in her and then y'all all hang out with like like some of her friends and some of your friends maybe to like break a the ice or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Then I think it's cool because it's like a team thing. Y'all like bonding. You know, y'all being competitive. Yeah. yeah, but that shit was fire though. Extra was cool. Is the real? That's the one. That's some shit you do in the bar on a Friday night. Said what? Dark, dark throwing? throwing. Dark throwing. That's, that's some, that's, that's some Saturday night that's activities, cool. man. You you don't do meet these six. Like. You meet these sixty-five, forty-year-olds at the bar. Ain't got nothing to lose. <laughs> they can drop a hundred dollars on some shit. You just take their money real quick. That's some GTA shit for real. That's what Joe <laughs> was thinking about. That's yeah, the only GTA time I ever dominoes, did. But you got it, bro. That's the only time <laughs> I literally did some GTA shit. Was like. I mean, some GTA shit. Some <laughs> shit. Said, it's in know. GTA 4. I was throwing darts. That's yeah. The only time I, that shit. Yeah, I, I can see. I can, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. 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 It's like yeah, taking somebody to shoot pool. Like, that's like yeah, some yeah, shit yeah. you do on the side, bro. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Actually, like, I went. I did. I did have a date where we went and we uh was doing pool. That shit was kind of fun. Pool. Pool, pool was fun. I ain't gonna lie. It was yeah, after like yeah. a Dave and Buster's thing. Like, we just go. We went and play pool. I was like, this is kind of cool. Yeah, <laughs> you got that shit. You got yeah, that shit. Yeah. But y'all got more shit to add to the, the the Valentine's Day shit, or we we can move on. Nah. Get there's, a, there's a there's a there's a lot of shit that's been happening in the world. Yeah. Um, the UFOs. Y'all were y'all were talking about aliens last time, but <laughs> these UFOs have been getting shot down. Hey man, we might be under under attack. That show would be lit, low key. Hold on now. I know, I know these aren't spy balloons because they haven't even came out and said they said that the the shit was fucking with the the what were they F twenty twos? If, if Rod could tap probably into the F F twenty twos, right? Yeah, probably F twenty twos. I don't really remember. They mm. said they were fucking with the the radars and all that shit. I was like, okay, okay, some extraterrestrial shit. Let's get it. Let's oh, get shit. it. I want to see this. Let Wait, those are the aircraft that they use? They, they use the uh, F-22s to shoot it I'm down? I'm pretty sure, yeah. They shot one down over uh, Canada. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I remember now. Yeah, that shit. That shit's lit. I want, I want us to get invaded. I want to see some aliens. What I told y'all? Remember what I told y'all? The only thing that's going to bring us together is a fucking alien invasion. Let me, some let me battle some for LA type shit. Yes, man. <laughs> some District 9 type shit going to happen. Stop playing. We need oh, that. We need yeah, that. That shit. We need hey, that. We'll have a podcast episode in the middle of the the invasion. Facts. You know what I'm saying? You look at this. You lift it up, that is bitch. Yeah, I'll be yeah. I'll be cool. I'll be cool with that. Honestly, they don't have they don't have a picture of what got shot down. They said it was cylindrical, metallic, 
unmanned, whatever. But hmm. there have been a lot more UFO sightings that I've seen on TikTok and Twitter and all that. Not the shaky mm-hmm. footage, not the one that's like, it's a UFO, not that one. Like, clear cut, it's a fucking iPhone from this year. You can see it. You can see the lights. You can see all that shit. And it's like, hey, man, I'm waiting to the day I see one. I want to see one. I want to go outside and see one. Yeah, that's the last thing you see. That's, that's interesting. <laughs> that's, that's, that's last thing you that's, see. That's, that's very interesting. There has been a lot going on. And it I has can been. tell you that uh, UFOs... That's- Aliens exist. I mean, it's not like I'm surprised. It, like, I wouldn't aliens. say. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say aliens. I would say because uh, the truth is, oh, we could probably real. build them shits ourselves. They probably just like a ploy. No, it could no, be a no, conspiracy no, theory no, type no, shit. No, we can't. A conspiracy no, book. Okay. Because every, every one of them they shot down, they try to reverse engineer it, and they can't reverse engineer it because he said, it's talk to us. Through all the ones they've been shooting them down for a minute, <laughs> and they can't seem to reverse engineer them. Because the technology we don't have, we don't have the resources. That technology is so far ahead in the future. It's like thirty years in the future, and right now we we have the technology for most some of it, but not most of it, because they're still trying to figure out how to make cars levitate. What else? What, 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 what conspiracy are we getting into? <clears throat> oh, planet conspiracy? Nah, no, no, planet no, X. Let's get into no, planet no, X. No, 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 not planet. Oh, you talking about beer? It's already yeah. here. Yeah, it's already been here, man. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, the, the, the black satellite, the thing that watches us from space. Yeah, we know about that. <laughs> Plan Nibiru. Yeah, it's been here. It's been here. You, you can look it up. It was like uh, in Germany, they see like, you know, there's a sun, right? It's on the left side. And there's something on the right side as well. Two suns. <laughs> there ain't two suns, bro. That shit's been here. But also, you, you little UFOs and shit. You ever heard about the story where the dude who um, who flew over Antarctica, right? Yeah, I forgot his name though. And he said he found a green wonderland over the Arctic Wall. I'm lost, bro. I don't know. Okay. So basically, there, there's a hollow earth. The hollow earth theory, the, the, it's real. The hollow earth. Yeah. People say there's an entrance to the yeah. inside of the earth, north, north and south, <laughs> in Antarctica. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's just funny, bro. Rod and Denzel's face. No. Nah, we're talking about Planet X. Planet X Planet is the Planet X is like this this rogue planet that comes every so often. And they say whenever it passes by Earth, there's like a, a extinction level event and all this shit. That's just funny, though. I love, I love fucking talking to, to Devin about conspiracies. That's just hilarious. Hmm. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, though. Like, Shit, have you seen these alien races, bro? It's like they never left, bro. They yeah, still here. people. They they be here. They ain't never left. I ain't never where my alien wife at. And, and, and I ain't gonna lie to you. It's it's more than just the lizard people. We got my, fish people. My alien we, wife got, at. we got insects. We got all types of <laughs> alien <laughs> shit. No, you, I'm said listening, we were, bro. you said we you said we were why fed. I'm gonna tell you right now, somebody in your family probably might be alien. They just ain't never even told you. God damn. It's a high possibility because they they've always been among us. It's probably Dev- uh, Denzel himself. You look lizard like. Not even lizard like you can just you know what I'm saying? Girl, they would look like a it's fucking cousin. salamander. It's yo fucking long nose okay. ass. I'm on you. <laughs> or are, are you number like two pencil sharpened nose ass. I'm on you. Five <laughs> point <laughs> pen looking ass nose. I'm on you. Oh, your ass look gecko like. Looking like Charmander. I'm on your shit. Looking like the Pokemon. I'm on you. Man, all those Dungeons and Dragons. You about to turn into a dragon. I'm on yeah, you. Scale yeah. me back ass. I'm on yeah, you. you look like the magician that summoned the dragons too. With that yeah, mustache on, why DC Mo looking ass? I'm on you, Levioso yeah, looking ass. Altered beast? You looking Y'all like a creative game? character of Hogwarts <laughs> Legacy? Oh, Levioso right. looking ass? I'm on you. Man, Where you want that? Oh my goodness. Where you want that? I'm still laughing. That show was funny. All right, so can I get my shit off now? <laughs> yeah, y'all know about uh, Altered Beast? No, what is that? Nah, no, it was, oh my god, it's a game that came out like for Sega Genesis. And y'all probably heard the sound effect though. Like you, you, 
when you're when you're born and he's like, uh, no, you're not born, but you spawn, and the dude's like, rise from your grave. You ever heard that shit? I think I've heard of that before. No, oh my god, I've well, heard of it. Basically, in the game, you get power ups, and if you get like three of these orbs, you turn into like a fucking werewolf, man. But it's like every level you turn into a different beast. So it would have been funny if y'all like referenced that. Game. <laughs> that should have been funny as fuck. Cause I think in the second one you turn into like this dragon lizard, like like fish thing, and you shoot like fireballs out your mouth and shit. I don't know, it's weird. Bro. Oh shit, bro. That should have been funny. funny. As fuck, bro. Yeah. Oh my I'm god. To, I'm gonna have to show y'all that shit next time, for real. So what y'all think? What happened with Alien Invasion? You think we can hold our own, or you think we getting clapped? Oh, yeah, we, oh the majority of us getting clapped. We're getting clapped. Because if they was able to make it to us, that means they got better technology. I'm I'm going to put it to you this way, bro. Why do you think they have so many hidden military bases and shit around the world? And sub and tunnels and shit. Mm. That's a question for Rob. What you don't understand is they already have tunnels that that go from California to New York in a couple of hours. Like sub training tunnels, like speed bullet tunnels. They're just not open to the public. They already have that shit. They already, they're already working on... They've been working on a tunnel from New York to London. That's Underground tough. tunnel. Yeah. They already have that shit. And for every person there is on this planet, say, for example, every one of us, there's four of them for every person on this planet. So they have a lot more. It's just that they not... They might four be out and about. Yeah, four this is, Okay, so... It's four to it's a four to one. So for every person on this earth, there's four of them times four, four species four times what? Just in general, them. Because it's not it's not just like reptilians. It's like other shit on here too. Oh, he's mm. doing that bad. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. I had to understand like like four <laughs> oh, what? Like we talking about I'm four sorry. doppelgangers for no, aliens? No, 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 like for... just like four aliens for, per person. Well, I got four bullets. So we straight. I don't know, man. Them guns, them guns, them guns kind of the futile against them, bro. Mm. Okay, we're going to see. Yeah. They haven't heard of Mac your, 10. Hit them bullets with Levio, so them shit's going to start floating in front of their face like they Neo or some shit. They're going to retract the bullets. They haven't heard of Remington. You feel what I'm saying? They don't know nothing about that shit. You're going to shoot that Remington and them fucking pellets is going to float over their body. You're going to be like, uh, you're going to turn the fuck back around. All I'm going to say is if they can live eat and breathe especially in on our planet in our atmosphere then they can bleed and die too like this what did john moran feel this steel what did john moran say he said (laughs) it's free to feel or it's free to know how hollows feel (laughs) (laughs) you feel what i'm saying this steel this steel can put them down too it can still affect them fuck you I'm i'm not worried about none of that shit I'm gonna say, say they came from another. This, this, this is how I know. I'm gonna say is if these niggas tower over your ass, eight foot five versus you, oh, you think a bullet's gonna stop them? Hell Here's yeah, the a few bullets. The thing. Let me tell you, right? let, me, let me show y'all some science. Let me tell y'all some science real quick. So, to, for us to get from our planet, right, Earth, to another solar system, right? So, Alpha Centauri, that's the closest solar system to us, right? That should take four and a half light years. All right, so okay, we're going shit. at the speed of light, it'll take four and a half years to get there. If we're going on a regular spacecraft that we can make right now, the most advanced shit we could possibly make, it won't even go five percent of the speed of light, let alone probably even one percent of the speed of light. So it's gonna take thousands of years to get there, and with that, so if we got a species that can come from another solar system, let alone probably a fucking another galaxy, come here and come to our planet. Do you know how much energy it takes to do that? It takes an infinite amount of energy, infinitely dense. So they can harness energy to that extent and get here. Bullets will have no effect on them because they'll have technology to stop bullets as soon as they get close to them. They'll have technology to be like, oh, it's something fast coming towards you and it'll stop it and it'll just either disintegrate or it'll fall down. Like if someone did come to our planet from anywhere else, because if they came here, that means they mastered that technology, obviously, because they got here. That's what it takes. You're not killing mm-hmm. them with a fucking Remington or a fucking well, like I said, or a pistol like I said, or an yeah, AR. They, they, not they, they, that that that. That trigger. they have force yeah, fields. They have force that's fields. True. We don't have force fields. If well, a common hit our shit, we're fucked. Like, we understand that, but also they're not here yet. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're not here. And if they were, if they were to come here, then that means that. that man. And like I said, if they were to come here, then there is some way for that that suit 
or like it has it has some flaw because they're flawed. I mean, it's not probably not gonna stop a nuke. It probably will die to a nuke, but it's not gonna die from a a gun. Hell no. How do you you think that's weak as hell? That's not gonna do nothing. We we have we literally have technology that stops bullets, nigga. I'm not saying they're gonna. How do you think we get that technology, Rob? We made it. No, it's literally didn't. called it's it's called Teflon, my nigga. Any of us could go get this. We, shit. we did, we did make it. Bro. I'm not gonna lie, like, what to you, bro. Talking? We did make it. They they gave it to us. They didn't give us it, shit, it, nigga. It, it's 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 a whole lot of stuff that's going on behind it's the real, scenes. That you, like, like the periodic okay, table of elements. Okay, okay like shit. okay, like I'm I'm gonna give you like <laughs> one little stupid thing to look at. Like you know how the presidents, you know, they have those meetings and shit. And you, you, like, if you ever watch, like, one of these videos, like, their bodyguards, they all look kind of weird and shit. They don't look like a normal person, like, type shit. Like, they, they, they've already, they've been here. They've never left. They, they, they just, the government's got so good at hiding that shit. I mean, it's the government now. Are you really going to trust anything they say? Hey, man, these aliens I mean, have yeah. spun the block in the trenches, man. They going to get lit the fuck. They, they can just go. pick the man, oh, turn it, oh, then turn man. into a logo. I knew it was gonna happen. That's the alien <laughs> right there. We got his yeah, ass. He's morphing. He's morphing. <laughs> but, no, 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 like, but, like, but it's like, it's like, there's, there's, there's like, there's like people who've had these strange encounters with working with the government, and like these people in black suits, like, men in black, have visited their homes and told them to do exactly just this. And if they don't, they're taking your shit, man. It's a lot all of shit. All I'm gonna say is when it when it happens, it happens. But I don't believe yeah, this bullshit. And I'm gonna say it again. They are gonna have a weakness or a flaw, so they pull up if, if they, they want have, to. Yeah. Get the ass out of their suit and they getting fucked up. But, but it's like right, I don't care about like, none of that. But like when you really think about it, how you know we're not already being watched by these niggas? They watch they everything we do. Cause they shit well, happening. Find me. out. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm chilling. Find out. I'm chilling, bro. I'm not worried about no alien. Uh, you shouldn't be, but I'm just saying. Spend, we ain't spending the block no more. Once we conquer them, we spend the galaxy. Yeah, I don't know what about conquering them. <laughs> what are you talking about? The reptilians the fish people? Because this is just more than one person. Yeah, we fish niggas, so it's all yeah. good. We'll fish them. They all we'll get class. What you, what you, I'm not worried. I'm not worried, bro. Yeah, don't, don't be worried. I feel like we worry about no iguana back ass fucking presidential. Yeah, we'll, Whatever the fuck they all get like 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 y'all said, there's a cure for cancer. Like how like that's that's a, all another com- uh, conspiracy, Crazy. and we really needed to save the human race. I'm they pretty sure we would they would stop hiding shit. You know what I'm saying? And they would actually we would actually put our minds together and be like, okay, so this is actually what we have, and this is what we got to do to save the human race. Like they not it's not gonna be us against us no more. It's gonna be yeah. us against those fucking aliens. Yeah. So, if there's actually a telescope that can see all the way to London, how people say there is, and stuff like that, and this technology exists, it will come out if these aliens pull up. I promise you. I guarantee you. Uh, we probably eliminated. got a hammer or done out there in the in space, and y'all don't even fucking know about that shit. And they're yeah. going to activate that motherfucker. And the yeah. power of the sun is going to get harnessed, harnessed on their backs. I'm not worried, bro. And we taking their bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Like motherfuckers, motherfuckers getting clapped by their own minds and, and worry about aliens, man. Fuck all that shit, yeah, man. We pillaging. <laughs> all that shit. <laughs> I'm, tell, anyway. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh I'm gonna have God. alien head on my shelf. Fuck you mean it? It'll be hanging <laughs> from the ceiling like Chucky. What are you talking about? <laughs> is, man, is he back? There oh. he is. And he's back. There he is. There we go. That Man, the hour, are you still the same or have you been cloned? Did they get you? Let me ask you something that only Denzel would know. Let me think. Uh, what's his favorite game? <laughs> what's his favorite game? What's his favorite subject? It's funny because his favorite game and his favorite subject are both like, they're both related. Fall under the That's same the category. <laughs> nah, you took a little, you took a little long. Shoot him. Get his ass out of here. That's it took way too long. This man game. was... This man was scouring his memory, scouring the For files, <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out what the fuck. Nah, y'all seen that uh that chemical spill in Ohio? Yeah, that shit's crazy. Nah, what, what happened? A train carrying a bunch of different hazardous, hazardous chem- chemicals, then train wrecked, and they had the uh what they did they they did a control fire, a control burn to kind of get some of this shit out of the air, 
And this guy on TikTok was recording the, the sky. He was like, these aren't storm clouds. This is the, the shit they've been burning. And she was like, real clouds. So apparently people have been getting sick. Um, animals dog, dying. Yeah, animals dying. The whole river of fish is just, they all dead. And they're like, yeah, like the, the air quality is not bad. It's like, no, motherfucker, everything's dying. What you talking about? The air quality is not bad. But that's not the only one. There's been like two others throughout. Uh, no, nah, two more uh, chemical spills. There was like a truck in um, South Carolina, actually, that then flipped over, spilled a bunch of fucking, I don't know what chemical that shit was. But apparently there was a movie called White Noise that details the events that happened in Ohio. Same city, everything. Yeah, on to Netflix. The that yeah. shit is crazy as fuck. Here goes Clint. the the tin foil, tin foil hats. It's a that's just that's just crazy though. But uh, you know that's actually really scary, like the the whole chemical spill thing. Because like, imagine if this if it's killing frogs, fish, uh, all the insects. It's it's making pets sick and making the fur fall off their their body and and giving them like rashes and all kinds of shit just imagine what it's doing to people and their lungs right. and and then they're, they're like like the sperm cells and all that shit like it's really just frying you slowly you know what i mean is like imagine if somebody was like to try to have kids and they have the kids have a genetic defect or they're deformed because of what happened with this chemical burn that's what i'm saying yeah like, yeah that that shit is just scary it's been burning for like what 10 days Something like, like that, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. I I, I thought y'all knew about that, and they're not covering it either. Like it has no, no yeah. So that's yeah, actually that's really scary. In our own backyard, my boy. I I didn't even know that was a real spot in Ohio. It's called East Palestine. I was like, I was like, what the fuck does Palestine and Ohio got in common? And the actual spot in Ohio called East Palestine, and I was like, there's the oh, yeah. there's honestly something else that's been like spilling over. It's it's like a forbidden island. It's like some, I don't know, it starts with an A, but it's like they used it back in the 80s and 70s to test nuclear bombs and shit. Mm. And like the liquid from that place is spilling over into the ocean. And that shit's like full 100% cyanide. Like if we even go near the island, we're going to die. Like instant contact with the air. That's just crazy. So it's, oh, been, it's been spilling out for the past nine years into the ocean. They were talking about uh, the Fukushima shit. Uh, yeah. all, that, all that water that radioactive mm -hmm. water they have they said oh. they're running out of space about to start dumping that shit in the ocean i'm yep. like is y'all dumb or is y'all yep. stupid we're gonna have mutated crabs lobster godzilla about to be real i'm gonna have spongebob for real <laughs> godzilla Live back for real. SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit yeah this, this shit is crazy like, I don't really know why crazy. that's like that's people's first option. Or that's an option at all. It's dump shit in the ocean. It's dump like, shit into our water supply. Like <laughs> that's, what's that's, the that's shit that we need? <laughs> yeah, let's just dump it in the water. Now. Trash. Trash. You can't deal with it. Chemicals, <laughs> other dead people in the water. Let's just, let's just dump them in the water. <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, fuck it, man. What's the worst that can happen, man? <laughs> Damage our food supply. You know, not clean drinking water. You know, the animals we killing and hunting down is drinking that water. Yeah. Mm. The mm. next time you get that nice juicy steak, y'all keep eating them fish. Yeah. Y'all want superpowers? That's your that's your chance at it right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> get that mercury. I ain't get that. I get that mercury. Hey, Ryan, get that Ryan, Ryan the shrimp, bro. I swear, that's like his forever op right there. Niggas want to turn into static shock. For real. <laughs> Y'all try it if you want to. That Ben 10 yeah. Omnitrix. Go ahead and turn into something else. Fish, right, you know right. what I'm saying? You got it. You're going to turn into a science experiment. Your ass going to get immediate cancer. The for the cells is going to start growing on your ass. Keep, play. Keep, keep yeah, playing. It's going to be looking like, like a Resident Evil boss. He's going to be looking like the thing from Fantastic Four. For real. That's going to be looking like Nemesis in the face. And not, <laughs> but not going to be able to speak. Eight point five. Like, uh, Zoidberg. <laughs> Zoidberg. <laughs> Zoidberg is nasty as fuck. <laughs> Tentacle <laughs> Yo, when that man took off his shirt and showed the rolls, I was like, God damn. That man looking yeah. like the finest lobster. That boy got three beef Crack franks on his shit. It's some butter. Bro. You're gonna have a bunch of Pac-Man growing out your legs. Like, yeah, that, head, bro. You know, I'm telling you, y'all be worried about the wrong shit, bro. 
Don't be worried about yeah, the, the wrong shit. Yeah, just worry about what you got going on, man. Because I don't know. I gotta. We gotta really like dive into the actual like world of theories. The fuck was what that? the fuck was? That? Hey, bro, you got some pots and pans moving, bro. You good? <laughs> Oh okay, okay. I, I I didn't know what the fuck that was. I'm about to start the cloning process, right? Yeah, somebody cooking. They they done pulled up to my crib <laughs> for real. Like to talk to you, Roger Green, about your latest podcast. Cook, cook, cook. Didn't even go cook. live yet. They already at the dough. Cook. We hear yeah. you. Well, we got something for your ass. They tapped but not, in, but not realistically. I think that's just Brittany. She just got home. She might be trying to cook something. So, oh, shit, bro. Yeah, we good. We good. We safe. Super- Y'all seen the Super Bowl? I didn't Hell watch nah. it. I didn't watch uh, the commercials. The bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, ever since I heard about the Super Bowl being scripted and shit, this is like, damn. That shit was hilarious yeah, on Twitter. People be like, the quarterbacks, they come out and say, yeah, this shit is scripted. You, know, you got a whole fucking play by pay for this shit. It's like Destin at the start of the season was what they're saying. Like, these two teams are destined. I'm like that shit is hilarious. So bro. was All Brady's ring scripted too? Was what? Was Brady's uh Super Bowl yeah. ring scripted too? No. Uh, I don't know, I don't, man. I don't but, believe but, how that I feel, scripted shit, bro. Yeah, because oh, no, it's no. like how are you gonna control like so many different people with so many different like I don't know, man, like those teams are deep. It's not no fucking basketball team. You have a team full of like yeah. thirty motherfuckers, yeah, and it's true. like you can't control like what goes on in somebody's life, and then like the injuries that they have, and like how willing they are to give their all, and and then the mm-hmm. flags on the play. And I just don't see that shit happening. Like what? Like how? How does that happen? You know what I'm saying? Now, I, I can, mean, I can ahead. see the refs. I can see the refs like having a, a hand and not being like. Oh yeah, refs definitely got their home. I think one of the, I think one, one ref. I forgot what game. It, oh, it was a basketball game. It was the the Celtics Lakers game where LeBron got that foul at the end. One mm-hmm. of the refs had his son bet on the Celtics, but he mm-hmm. said he had no prior knowledge of that. And it's like, man, how the fuck don't you know that shit, man? <laughs> that shit up, man. You had a hand in that shit. You didn't call that foul. But I feel like that, that yeah, there, there isn't, you know, definitely something you're not going officiating on. right. There's definitely for something fishy going on. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like that, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Crooked refs, sure. crooked officials, that yeah. makes sense. But like them just being like, okay, so this is how this is this is how the game is gonna play out. And if it don't go this way, then pay so and so to knock this person's legs out so that they get, you know, what I'm saying, removed and they injured. Like that, I don't see happening because yeah. it's just. It's too meticulous. Like, there's there's no way that you can just create order and be like, okay, so this is what's going to happen, and this is how it's going to play out. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the yeah, likelihood I of that, I, I feel like what happens is they look at the most promising teams, of course, and the prospects on the teams, the players, mm-hmm. like they, like how much they generate, their numbers, their stats, and they're just like, okay, the likelihood that these two teams are going to make it to the Super Bowl is super high. So then... Like, you know, they say that and, you know, they look at the numbers, the stats, because those really like will reflect what's going to happen. Well, not reflect, but it's going to foreshadow what's going to happen. So then, you know, once it plays out, it's not like, you know, oh, like they knew this from the beginning. You know, I just think it makes the most sense because yeah. like this can go left at any time. Like you can get injured at any time on the football field. Really dangerous. You know, anything can happen. So I, mean, I don't man. know. There, there might be like they might be like. Oh, we didn't see that. We didn't see that face mask. You know what I'm saying? We didn't see that. Like, he's all sides. He's not really all sides. And they throw a flag and like shit yeah. like that. Or people make mistakes, too. Mm-hmm. Like, hum- yeah. we're humans. We make a lot of errors. So, yeah, but I definitely man. think that refs can, can fuck up games. This happened for me in middle school, bro. High school. Like, I've been playing. I'm just like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Like, you get robbed, you know? They saying Patty Mahomes about to be the next big thing. I ain't gonna hold you. I thought he was already uh, big, bro. San, Shannon He's, Sharp talking about he 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 about to be the next Hall of Famer for real. Next Brady, yeah, yeah. Cause he did mm. so much, and he only been in the league for like five years. He been in the Super Bowl I, what like three times already? Yeah, three times. Three. I thought he was already times. going crazy. One one twice out of three times. That that's really good probability though. In five years, that's fucking. In five crazy. years, bro. Yeah, he might be yeah. the next after Brady, man. Yeah. Shout out to the Chiefs. Rihanna performed. She revealed revealed that she's pregnant again. Again. They said Rocky shooting the club up. I see he wasted no time. But the club up. I ain't going to lie. I said Rocky. I'm still not over this. Nah, it, makes, it makes perfect ideas. sense, though. Think about it. 
Guess Rihanna's these dark skin niggas wearing. Rihanna's not. Rihanna's kind of like you know, <laughs> getting up there. So it makes sense. She's getting she up have there. Her what you mean by that? She's already been at the top. I ain't even she's already been you. at the top. What, what the uh, amount of bread about, that she got? I'm talking about her. See that I'm, forehead? I'm talking about, no, I'm talking about her age. <laughs> the forehead. Oh. That don't mean nothing. So Jayla was yeah, like 50-something. Yeah, she, she probably want to get, Jayla you know, 50 get them something. out I'm the way, in. you know. Get, yeah. It makes yeah, sense. She probably Why? can't get, like, pregnant no more, right? I think. You know nah. I think. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, he just, just flashed us, King? <laughs> no, I wasn't trying to. I was trying to scratch. I was scratching this part of my back, so I used my shirt, like like my shirt to get it. But, oh, okay. That's okay. Well, I was trying to flash somebody. I, I won't get on you for that, but okay. But, but like you, you know how, <laughs> you know how, uh, <laughs> like they go through menopause and then they're yeah. not like able to to. Um, not able to have kids. Like, yeah, right. What is it like? The eggs just aren't um able the eggs to fertilize. Just, like yeah, that. fertilize, and yeah. they just. I, I don't. I don't know. I need to do more fucking research. But um, perfect for I'm about to bust. <laughs> yeah it is that's actually true yeah like they can't no get fertile out. anymore no so so he's probably like okay yeah let me just do this and create a family because i mean it, like realistically if you at that stage in life and you have a wife or are they even they're not married are they no they're no. Not, no. Not, not married no, no they're, they're not married, not married yet <laughs> all right but what, whatever if you have a significant other she has her own business and she's established and she has so much money and you have so much money you've established like you've done everything that you wanted in life you got all these millions coming in why not just like make a family you know start yeah. a little dynasty start a little he coconut splashing in them sweet watery guts that's crazy <laughs> hey man that's old school that, right that right that right looking real familiar right now now <laughs> people are talking <laughs> about the performance being like the best super bowl performance and all that i'm like Mm, but y'all yeah. reaching a little bit. Y'all reaching reach a little, little bit. bit. Yeah, I ain't gonna Beyonce, lie. Beyonce went crazy for her Super Bowl performance. I ain't gonna hold you. The weekend did too. The weekend was cool. The whole little camera shit. That shit was a whole meme where they're grabbing the camera and all that shit. Yeah, like, yeah that mm -hmm. shit was cool. But I didn't. I Beyonce, didn't see her performance. It was. It was cool. It was. It was cool. I mean, Justin Timberlake too. Early two thousands. Okay, Gra I thought you were, I thought you were talking about the the recent one. The nah, recent grabbing one grabbing Janet Jackson's titty. Oh titty. yeah, titty coming out. Oh, he did. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. 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 She yeah. said, "Oh my god." Last year's was cool too with uh Dr. Dre and and all the the West Coast artists. That shit was cool. Oh, the, and Kendrick yeah, out there. Up. Yeah, Kendrick, Kendrick Fifty, the... Eminem. <laughs> yeah, that shit is hard. I don't care what nobody says. Was it Fifty that down last year? Huh? Hmm? Like 50 upside down at one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, he yeah. was. He was. Yeah. <laughs> was cooking him about that. I forgot. Cooking his ass, all the blood you know, and popped to his head. I don't know. I don't know if y'all knew, but um, he did that in the music video, so that's why he did it. Yeah, in he did it in the yeah. performance. Yeah, yeah. No, exactly. you know what I'm the saying? Like in the music video, he's song. upside down in the in the the building, or is it was it in jail? I don't remember exactly. Something he was upside down in something, but yeah. Yeah, and he, he was like rapping upside down, so like that's why he did that in the Super Bowl. It wasn't yeah, like. What the fuck sense. is 50? People was like, what the fuck is 50 doing his big ass for the break the railing and break the awning? <laughs> like, I was like, bro, y'all really just not cultured, huh? <laughs> for just real, bro. Fuck, like, shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> that shit had me pissed off. Oh, my <laughs> God. But when Eminem came out there, they were sucking off Eminem. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> just be like, damn, bro. <laughs> Marshall Mathers. Like, if you don't care about nobody but Eminem on the West Coast, just say that. Like, I understand. Everybody has their opinions. Like, you really look into whoever you want to, whoever you're interested in. But Is he really don't... even West Coast, though? No. Like, what, Midwest, right? Yeah, no. He's Midwest, Detroit. But, I mean, he is a is legend. Midwest? Like, what is that? That's what I'm saying. I, that's when people say, like, oh, you're from the middle. No, it's East Side, nigga. If you put it on the map, you got North, <laughs> East, South, West. <laughs> east Side. And they'll say Midwest because the Midwest is over here, bro. That's that's Midwest. Hey, Midwest, like, above Texas area, like Kansas. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's uh, Kentucky, Oklahoma, Tennessee. Kentucky, yeah. yeah. God damn. It's stupid as fuck, too, because it's, like, right next to, like, South Carolina and North Carolina. Like, how the fuck is that East Coast? But this is Midwest. Yeah, people who hell. made that shit is retarded as hell. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> All right, well, uh, my friend. TOS, TOS, TOS. <laughs> yeah, TOS. Let's, let's remember the time. Smoke. Yeah, well, what's, squad. <laughs> what's what time you at, Devin? I am at currently. I am at. Damn, I don't even remember. I ain't a lot of you, slum. I don't remember. Ah, oh, I'm at a minute, four a minute. seconds, and. An hour. <laughs> All right, we got it. We got it. So yeah. An hour, four seconds. So like between yeah, yeah, yeah. an hour, four seconds, an hour, three minutes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? TOS. So. It had to be done. 
<laughs> Let's just remember that. God damn. I'm, oh, speaking of Midwest, bro, I'm so thankful we don't get tornadoes because. Oh, man. Tornadoes just, Tornado Alley. Alley. Nope. Nope. Tornado just be crazy. ripping through your life. Imagine like, you just, just come home from like a long day of work and then there's like a tornado that just rips off part of your roof. Like, I know you're going to be feeling some type of way, bro. Especially when you get home. Like, damn, I finally get to go home, chill with the boys. You know what I'm saying? They come home, tree trunk all through his shit. <laughs> Your Jay's over there. Your <laughs> TV over there. <laughs> bro, we're laughing, there. but like that shit is really terrible, bro. Cause think about it. You built yeah, the whole man. future in this house. You've been in, like, think about it. you you bought a new house. Like you that got married. Definitely. You you had kids. And then a tornado comes through. Y'all in a sailor. You come back out. I'm in the Smoke sailor. Switch. Y'all in a sailor. You come back out and like half the house is ripped through. Now you got a big ass hole in your house. You have no roof, no <laughs> living room. How do you go about that? Like, what's you don't work. Go to your None mama's of that house. Shit don't work. Go to your like, mama's house. Like, you oh, go to man. your mama's house until this shit is rebuilt. Like, what is home is? Oh, no, man. Are they really gonna get on your house like immediately? They like, what do you do, bro? ASAP, no Rocky. Your house been destroyed, bro. Like, <laughs> honestly, I wouldn't even want to live no more. Like, y'all just destroyed my house. The and HOA go here for my belongings. Like, what do you do, bro? The next like home, help. The next, my the next, car is gone. My house is gone. What the fuck do I do, bro? Next like, I'm not going to work. I'm not yeah, making money. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can't live comfortably. It's it's raining in my house. It's raining on my neck. Like I'm showering from Mother Nature right now. You said the because HOA I, gonna hear about this. The next HOA meeting, Betty is gonna hear about this shit. I'm not having it. It's Somebody just like, what do you do? ASAP. No you rush. Still pay rent. Still pay so, mortgage. Yeah, they still want you to pay For rent. For a house that's in shambles, in scraps right now. Uh, look, this shit just looking like the dog done got into the trash. That's what your house look like. And somebody I'm like, I, nah, if they, didn't give, if they didn't give a fuck about no pandemic, and you still had to pay rent, even though your ass wasn't working, your, your ass still gonna be paying that rent when that house go. They yep. really did give people, like, a couple of months of just rent free. Yeah. Hell yeah. There's actually there's a, there's talks that there might be another pandemic, a bird flu pandemic, because they seen that it's jumping from from animals to to uh. Humans. Shit, this time I'm collecting some of that uh, pandemic money because people was getting a thousand dollars sitting at home. What were they saying? It's the uh, pandemic. It's the pandemic. It's the pandemic. Scandemic. PPP loans. <laughs> Yo, they they getting but, picked up for the PPP loans. But uh, my fucking get picked up for get, them shits. Yeah, what like seven years for fifty m? Yeah, yeah. Hey man, that sound like a that sound like a come up to me. <laughs> man, here, that's not a come oh up to real. Your, your dumb ass gonna be in jail getting blown in jail. out. Yeah, yeah, is it worth it? Coming up in that ass. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah. Like you really want to get? You really want to play with your play with your whoa. back back door like that? Yeah, it's like you play with your money. Hand. The Drake can whoa. <laughs> Hold on now. That's hey, man. My ass, hey, now. You gonna get that Pause. PPP loan. You gonna get a you gonna get some PPP loan deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's gonna be a come up, but in the future. <laughs> Sell me. You know what I'm saying? Don't play. Hey man, what, I'll, what, get, what? I'll get solitary confinement. Fuck it. What Shaq did to Kevin Hart, he said, this is what they're going to do to your little ass to chill. Oh, yeah. He's like, what? He was out, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was getting booed. Yeah. Oh, this <laughs> shit, bro. He was getting, he was getting <laughs> That shit's funny, bro. That shit's funny, bro. Ooh, I like this. The new bottle. Hey, a new water bottle. This shit yellow. You can't even see it. Mm. Got all the meme stickers on it already. <laughs> <laughs> got a thousand. She got this shit ten minutes ago. <laughs> it got a sticker solo. God damn. God damn. <laughs> yeah, I like I like this though. This shit, this shit's oh, fire. Shit. But no, nah, I mean, I don't know. I haven't heard about the the bird flu. But hey, man. I mean, if we, man, if we back inside, if we sitting inside, we're gonna blow up. Hey, we gonna we gonna blow yeah, up even facts. more. That's even facts. better for us. Facts. 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 We always say this shit though. I'm chilling. Um, yeah, I mean, but it's the truth. Yeah, it's true. Of, like we're doing the podcast, you're doing the streams, it's not gonna stop if we inside. It's literally mm-hmm. gonna increase tenfold. The productivity is going to go crazy. Mm-hmm. We prepared this time. That shit happened again. We prepared. We all got our PCs. Yup. It's over. Yep. You already know what the fuck going on. Bring it yeah. on. Yup. You ain't get caught lacking this time. Mm-mm. Yeah. yeah. I ain't gonna lie, the TikTok's Making gonna go bag. crazy. Making, Making that bag. bag. Yes, Easy. Sir. Um, well, I mean, it wouldn't be right if we didn't talk about Black History Month because it is Black History. Month. I think we got like one more Friday. Our Black forefathers History strived for. What y'all think? What y'all think about Black or Black History Month? 
I think uh, it's important to also have this. It's because, yeah. like, you know, as as we as black people, we've struggled so long in America. And just in total society, yeah, we're still struggling. But it's like, it's important to, you know, take time out of every year for this month just to reflect on how far we've come as a culture, as a, as black people, you know? Right. From being, you know, in those harsh times and harsh environments to being able to walk around freely in some parts. Um, just to, you know, just to talk about what our experiences and, like, what our ancestors went through and, like, our descendants and stuff. I think it's pretty cool. I think, like, everybody should, you know, participate in this. Not just black people, just, like, other races learn about black people before they start making some stereotypical initiatives towards us. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think if you, like, for other cultures, right, if the first thing they hear is, like, yeah, black people were slaves, it's like, like, we get it. You know what I'm saying? We get it. But, like, talk about the other shit. Talk about, uh, what's his name? Mansa Musa? Mansa Musa, yeah. The riches. Like, talk about, talk about our come-ups. Like, not yeah. that we were slaves and we were Black shipped Wall over Street. here. The Black, Wall, Black Street. Wall Street. You know what I'm saying? Like, other shit. <clears throat> Besides the, the traumatic shit of, yeah, Harriet Tubman, Martin the innovators. Died. Yeah. The like, innovators, yeah. the creators, the inventors, like all that shit. Mm -hmm. Because all of that shit is in the textbook. Like we don't need a, a refresher all the time. Like and learn that our people was assassinated and yeah. not respected. Yeah. We don't wanna be known for like sitting in the front of the bus and like just yeah. dumbass insignificant ass shit. Like yeah. and even like, talk about the people from today. Like Kendrick got a fucking uh what's it called? A Pulitzer Prize mm -hmm. for his album. This album right here. When a fucking uh oh okay I almost got an award shit. an award that fucking no other artist in hip hop has ever gotten like come on now like we gotta talk about other shit besides you know shed light on the older people too but there's there's shit being broken today yeah, yeah. we can talk about shit, all that we can talk about shit that matters like um well shit that matters to to young people like it's like who really gives a fuck about I mean the stuff back then. I mean, let's be let's be real. Like that stuff is important, but like we could talk about shit. Who created who created peanut butter? <laughs> that's like the most <laughs> that's the most cookie cutter basic one they always bring. <laughs> Did you know that? Yeah, 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 peanut butter. They always talk about that shit, but not for <laughs> real though. Like we could talk about like the creativity that like we have, like, like art. Yeah, music. Yeah. Like literally poetry. I feel like black, um, black artists. And poetry like that's that's what rap is we can talk about hip-hop and stop shitting all over it how it's used in literally everything movies commercials um advertisements yeah. you know what i'm saying it's used it's used everywhere like you got the motherfuckers that made the cheetos commercial doing a weak ass rap like shit like that how we finally are in the we were in the super bowl <laughs> last year like just stuff that we always create and like even um Stuff that people always consume, like just the everyday person, like uh the NBA shit is what like eighty percent black. Yeah. Like that's yeah. that's I feel like those are accomplishments. Like even though they might not be like, oh like we're we're black, we we always just athletes or entertainers. But I mean if that's where we shine, then why can't we like accept that too? I mean, not everybody yeah. wants to be like an innovator, even though there are black creators, innovators, Neil inventors. The grass Tyson. Exactly. Yeah. Like I can't think of this shit off the top of my head because, you know, I just don't have my hand in that right now. But it's like, th these are things that are important. Like, when, when we get, like, someone that is living their life as a black man and he's the president, it shouldn't be shat all over. Like, that should be for something. Because yeah. we came out of poverty and came out of uh, positions where we just didn't, like, we weren't pri privileged and we're trying to do something. We're trying to make something for ourselves. <laughs> and we're trying not to, we're trying to break these these uh, stereotypes and these boxes that we've just been set in. You know what right. I'm saying? I saw a TikTok the other day that was like, like, shit, Denzel does this shit to me all the fucking time. When he's like, oh, Florida jit or whatever. But the shit, like, it says, oh, you don't look like you're from Florida. And the dude's like, oh, let me just, and the shit uh, transitions. He puts in some golds and, like, it turns his, like, his dad hat sideways, was wearing a polo fit and started, like, sticking. And he was like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> and it, that shit was funny. It's like, not all of us look like that, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like, 
like shit like that or even <laughs> even myself like people people look at me like they look at my arms and they're just like oh like i've never seen a black person with tattoos like that they make me want to like you make me want to get more tattoos and it's like i feel like that's that's different you know what i'm saying that's that's unique yeah. to what people are are known black like people see black people for being so mm-hmm. i think i think black history month is an important time for that but i also heard the counter argument that it's like we got thrown the shittiest month like the shortest month they just gave us a month and we're like yeah like you can have it like good luck good luck with that here you go this is your history but like i mean at least we got one you know what i'm saying at least, at least we yeah. got something i mean i can take what we're given but then you got people like ltg bitch ass being like black people aren't meant to succeed here like they're not meant to run this country and we will never really amount to nothing but then you contribute into the problem like yeah like what the fuck like that, that's the only issue i have with yeah. that man because some shit that he says is valid but when he says shit like that bro it's just so he is, he is, he is, he is very he is no. we, we need we need context no. as to who ltg is all right, so LTG people. is low known tier. as Low Tier God, and he's uh, particularly a streamer, uh, content creator, banned. and like that—that's that's what he does. Yeah, he's been he's being banned. Like, honestly, Shadow it's been right. a long time coming, but he's getting his ass fucked right now. Like, he's getting banned everywhere. <laughs> yeah, so, he's, getting, he's getting pumped. Ex- except for um on IG, I think he's still on IG Twitter. Uh, but but yeah, his 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 channel's been um banned on YouTube. Uh, he's pretty controversial. Like you know, he'll he'll say shit like you know. He'll say wild. yeah, he'll say out of pocket stuff, and then like later on, like when you double back and try to ask him about it, he'll just like try to hide the fact that he said it, or he'll just say some very rude stuff. Yeah, it's like I don't think he really has the people skills to like take his career to the next level, and that's why he's been struggling. It's because he can't really set aside this persona he's got going on for himself. In order to just you know say i'm sorry i fucked up let's try to take a different approach at things he's very snide with his remarks and comments and like if you don't if you don't blend well with his opinions then he's just gonna like just get rid, get of, rid you. of you yeah mm-hmm. exactly so my, that happen. yeah i was gonna say my issue with him is that like in real life like when he meets people and interacts with them he's he's you know he's a humble yeah, like person dude. like he he makes sense but some of his shit like some of the shit that he says is just so ignorant sometimes it's like how can you really feel this way and not um like look any further than than what you're saying because it's like the shit that he says on a very surface level probably would make sense but then if you look deeper and continue asking why you'll see that it's not true and honestly like i feel if you specialize if you're trying to specialize in whatever it is, like, you started playing video games, you started playing fighting games, whatever, and you're trying to kind of just transfer your content over to current events, like, things that are happening in social media um, predominantly, then I feel like you should be able to do more research and try to be a better figure in your community, because whether you like it or not, like, if you have hundreds, thousands, uh, hundreds and thousands of people watching your content, then and they see that you're black and you're literally wearing like um what was he wearing like like scarves and uh like head wraps like the glasses yeah. earrings like you know you got the little new dread twist shit going on like you got a fade like you you represent the community you know what i'm saying yeah. so it's like you might as well do your best to to be educated on it especially if you're talking about shit like that because when you say shit like oh black people were never meant to run this country which I mean, it's not to say that like, um, like we can't or that you know we just like don't like we we want to, like you you got to think about how harmful that is to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Or like you saying that like, oh, I I couldn't date black chicks. I don't like the dark skin, yada yada. Like this and that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just yeah. shit like that. It's, it's it's very it's very like it's like self hate almost. Bro. Yeah, it's, it's self hate and it's like prejudice towards one's race, like. Yeah, it's like, and it's your own race, bro. So you yeah, it's your own race at the end of the day. Because whether you like it or not, you was born black, you are gonna die black. But what yeah. I'm what I'm noticing now, you know how they used to say like sex cells and everything has sex in yeah. it. Now they're starting to say controversy cells. So everyone's saying controversial shit, um, talking negative about certain things, and then yeah. 
moving to other platforms like Aiden Ross is moving from Twitch to to Rumble or Kick yeah, Rumble. the other thing. Rumble. Yeah. And it's like controversy sells now. So people are trying to get, do the most to be the most controversial and get their ass banned off a platform so they can shift to other platforms. Mm -hmm. I don't see the hype of going into Rumble though. Like Rumble a, Rumble Rumble is what oh, well, Rumble is old YouTube. You can say whatever you want. Nothing happens to you. Why would you want a platform where you could say whatever you want? Because then that that asks for people to be dumbasses in your chats or in your comment section. Bro, what was Modern, what was Modern Warfare Two lobby back in two thousand and nine? What were those, man? It was exactly. We fended for ourselves. We fended for ourselves, King. You can still do the same shit today. What was, what was YouTube in two thousand thirteen? It was the same thing. We fended for ourselves. It was it was it was a OK. Was every man show what's up? We wasn't struggling. We wasn't struggling at all. Why would you want to open that door though? But that we don't give no fuck. So what if you what if you put up content that has nothing to do with clowning any you trying to put up a wholesome video and you have people in the chat? Well, if you're banned off of YouTube and you're on Rumble, I mean there's there's still there's still good outlooks on Rumble. It's not just all okay, F it. I'm just gonna say whatever I want. It's like there's a lot of motivational shit that's on Rumble. It's just that YouTube has lost its way. It's catering to an audience. Or more controversial things because you can't really say anything on really YouTube or you're gonna get banned for no reason. They just ban people left and right. There's been many a stories where people's accounts they have done nothing wrong and they just get banned left and right for no reason. And YouTube never gets back to them at all. Like imagine working our channel up to like five hundred thousand subs and then we just get banned one day out of the blue for nothing. And we try to reach out for YouTube. And YouTube says nothing to us. Hey, we don't uh, have that, we don't have that check mark. Hey. <laughs> You already know we priority now. Nah, people still some, got the we check. Some part. Little boys, but like blue checks people. unite. <laughs> oh, Make yeah. the bluest check. The bluest of checks. <laughs> Make a gigantic blue check. Yeah, I think what Terrell's argument is that like, if you have that freedom of speech, like that super freedom of speech, then it's like yeah. it, it invites the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was just like you know I can say whatever the fuck I want here. So let me. Let Call this motherfucker an end, and then it's just word, like word, 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 yeah. word. Like, I mean, man, you can still like, moderate your like chat though. Yeah, you can okay, still. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. But I feel like some of it is like, you know what? Fuck it, I can say what I want. Let me just say what I want, and then just say like whatever the R word, yeah. the P word, the the F word, the B word, the N word. You know what I'm but saying? It doesn't help the case for Rumble that you know you have Sneeko going over there, you have Fresh and Fit going over there, and they're like, yeah, we're gonna do this, we're gonna show guns, we're gonna say this word and that word because we can't say it here. It's like okay. Right. I mean, I mean, at the same time, it's like you still want to be like you. You don't want to be saying shit and not be held accountable for what you're saying. Like, yeah, you I still mean, have you have brand the deals. Yeah, like you have the freedom to say what you want, but like you, like I feel like the people's issue is that yeah, you can't say what you want, but you can say what you want, but you're just gonna have to suffer the consequences. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, because we still pretty much say what we want on this podcast. We just don't really try to offend people that can't help how they were born. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just, just shit like that. I mean, if if you if you have a valid take, then I feel like there shouldn't really be an issue with that, or like people would see that there there's yeah. like no issue. But I mean, at the same time, like there's people who are more sensitive. Content is more sensitive since it's moving towards uh what Denzel likes to say uh the information age, the online age. Like I feel like just building a brand is very important, and what you say is important because. If you're not careful about what you say, it can manip it can be manipulated and twisted into something else yep. and used against you. Like anybody can do that. So it's like you kind of want to have those guidelines in place as kind Isn't of. Isn't that uh, what's already happening on YouTube when people aren't even cursing and stuff like that? They be doing that shit to that's, that's Peterson, my point. left and right. They do that to him left and right. They yeah, do that but to Ben Shapiro left and right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And it, but it usually comes to, I feel like it usually happens to people who have takes that do offend some people. Not saying that it's his fault because some of the things that he says, like Ben Shapiro, is valid. Some of the things that Jordan Peterson says, like what he said about like the models, like the the uh, plus size models and shit, like that shit is it's valid. valid. But it, but if it offends a group of people, then like they'll take it and, and use it. But I feel like that's been happening back then too. It just didn't happen that much because not everybody had access to hey, a we're, smartphone we're, we're and the in, internet. We're in a soft era, man. You can't really And that's that's really what it is. Yeah, that's really. that's really what it is. Everybody's just soft. Everybody gets People like to get a, the worst thing you can do is offend somebody. That's like yeah. the worst thing you can do. I'm sorry, does that offend you? Like not a, that person's offended. Like like you're in trouble. You could lose your job. 
Then you can lose your because job. You somebody. <laughs> because you hurt somebody's feelings, you could lose your job. Yeah, like, and if that's yeah. the case, then I don't want that fucking job. Because it's like, you're really doing some dumbass shit right now, and I can't tell you that without hurting your feelings. In the 90s, yeah. fuck your feelings. You used to get offended. I remember I remember The Rock in the WWF. Remember it was WWF, not the E? The Rock was like, shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, bitch. <laughs> Nobody was like, oh, my God, The Rock called her a bitch. Oh, my God. You remember when they used to get RKO'd? It, it, it chokeslam the female? Who got mad? Who was like, oh, you're offended. You're about to lose your job. Nobody. Cause nobody gave a fuck. Damn, we need to go back to those times. Soft ass. Nah, fu- nah just- fuck all that. All y'all soft ass? Fuck y'all. Soft asses. I mean, yeah, that's, that's part of the problem, bro. Because it's like it's like you can't really say anything if somebody's acting and you call them out on that dumb shit. You can't be vocal about how you want to do it. So like, people get offended so easily, and like you said, you could lose your job over the most randomest stuff, bro. It doesn't make sense. Like you in the doctor's office. That's what I'm saying. Like, morbidly obese. Hey. The doctor says, "I don't know how to tell you this, but um." If you keep you on this, right. they don't. They don't even say that because it's offensive. They'd be like, if I, if I, uh, if you keep on this track that you're doing, um, you know, your 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 arteries are gonna get very. The blood flow is gonna be well constricted, and uh, you'll die. Why? Like, <laughs> trying to say I'm fat? Like, yeah, I'll just be like, listen. You need fat to ass need to stop eating, bro. That's that's just that. <laughs> yeah, cut and dry. Like, like, like that's what the doctor. I mean, years ago, I had the doctor tell my dad that because my dad was like getting a shit ton of weight. I think he was like in the three hundreds at one point, and he was like, uh, he's six five, big ass dude. He was like three hundred and seven pounds or some shit. Doctor was like, listen, if you keep eating this bullshit and living this sedentary lifestyle, you're going to die. And my dad lost like seventy pounds. Like he got all right, you know, he lost his seventy, and then um later on he got the sleeve. And then he he went he went down some more weight. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we don't we don't we're not fat shaming, by the way. I mean, bro, the way <laughs> you know what this this Man. shit might this shit might be yeah, offensive right here. About. But I, but it I feel is. like like this part of the problem, like bro, if you're fat, you're fat. If you're skinny, you're skinny. You're skinny. Like, yeah, we went, yeah, skinny you're, ass, you're, fat you're ass, choosing, dirty ass, whatever. You're choosing, you're choosing to be like this at the end. You're ugly because you're because ugly. I, because at the same time, bro, you're choosing to be like that, bro. Like you you got all this access, you got all these nutrition plans online for free. You ain't got to go visit a nutrition specialist. You got all these little workout videos online for free. You got gym memberships around every other two 10 mile radius that you can go to and get help from. You can just ask somebody in the gym randomly and they'll help you out. It's like literally you have, so you're, we're in a digital age, like Denzel said, that we have so much help at the disposal of our fingertips. So why not try to get in the best shape of your life? Because I guarantee you, the motherfuckers that say they ugly, if you hit the gym and you eat right and you eat clean and do all this other shit, you're gonna, still gonna be you, ugly, but you're gonna be fit. And that's I don't know, is. man. You, you, you're gonna be ugly, but that body gonna be sexy. So, and that's yeah. really what matters, females, right? Females like what they like, man, at the end of the day. Because hey, I've never met a person that was ugly, but had like a phenomenal build and just didn't get like play. Uh, it's yeah. just, I, it just doesn't happen. It like, doesn't there's happen. just no way because somebody's gonna be attracted to that. Yeah, like, somebody your will. shirts off and you got the the chiseled abs and uh, you got six foot yeah, five. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? You got the, the chest separation. Skull. You know what I'm saying? Veins going through your shoulder to your bicep. Like, Skull. look at the veins. Like, oh my god! Like, flex your forearms. I love your veins. Like that. That shit is gonna attract somebody, bro. Yeah, somebody. Yeah. Somebody's gonna be into that. So. You know what I'm saying? It's it's gonna work for somebody. I right? advocate that all the homies. All the white chest stands up, this, bro. Just take care of yourself, man. You, you know what she's doing, bro. No, we can't. I can't let you off the hook, King. I can't let you off the hook. What's up? Where Where the fuck you been at for the last eighty five <laughs> episodes? You tried to dodge it, yeah. I was waiting for it. I was actually waiting for this one, man. Yeah, where the fuck you been at? It's been like thirty episodes. Yo, yeah. we haven't seen your ass since the start of the season. Yeah, we at the I, end. I, I, Man, you know what I'm saying? Highs and lows, man. Experience. Hold on, wait. Before you even continue, don't give me no riddle fucking bullshit. We need to know exactly where the <laughs> fuck you been. No, no. Yeah, man. You know, I've been exactly. doing. I touch you know grass. I mean? See the riddle shit right there. I touch the grass. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Break it down to us. You can walk outside <laughs> in the disc for 10 weeks. I'm for real. 
Smile. <laughs> so go yeah, ahead, break, break. Like the this. floor is yours. Where the where the fuck you been at? See, uh, I've been busy at work. You know, taking time, researching, read, reading books, reading like uh, Forty Eight Laws of Power. Read, read that. That was a pretty phenomenal book. You get my reading on. You know, start hitting the gym, eating clean, dieting. You know, just working on things that that I can work on in spare time while I'm not on the computer. You know, there's a lot more to life than just, you know, sitting at a black box all day or just looking at something on my phone. It's just like, I can be active in these times. If I got X amount of hours when I get off of work, why not spend some of those hours getting your body right, getting your cognitive right, you know, making sure everything's good on your end before you return back to your daily festivities. So I was just pretty much trying to keep myself active, man, you know? I mean, because the game ain't all that, man. Literally, because once we reach a certain status, once we once we get rich and famous off this, we still gonna do the podcast. But think about it: you gonna want to do more shit. You gonna go maybe take a trip out of the country or something. You know, go to Fiji, you know, type shit. You know, we gonna maybe go, go to Thailand. We know why you are going to Thailand, but that's besides the point. <laughs> My point is, you know, like don't don't get lost, don't get lost in the sauce at the end of the day, man. This is just here for entertainment purposes. This is not your calling. So I was just trying to keep myself busy when the time I didn't have my shit. You know, I was sitting through four world wars of dust. So I had to get off the old dusty trail. Valid. <laughs> so then, Zill, what you doing in Thailand, my boy? Yeah, that's what well, I'm gonna do in Thailand. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna be a hundred. I'm not gonna speak in no riddles. I'm not I'm gonna, gonna beat around a bush. I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what I'm gonna do to uh, Thailand. As soon as I land down in Thailand, I'm going to fuck so many Thai bitches. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I'm going to fuck a smooth 30, 40, and then I'm going to go back home and I'm going to. And I'm, running to those lady boys I'm gonna be drained. I'm gonna be drained, boys, gonna be drained but boys. it's gonna be a good trip. I'm not gonna yeah, lie to you. Yeah, I'm not gonna yeah, sugarcoat it. That's what right, I'm going yeah, for. He gonna find him a, a nice little baddie. He gonna be like, you gonna see lady this boy. in the, in the <laughs> Hey, hey. I don't know why they keep saying that shit. It's like they talk about you could run into a lady boy, but if you if you get undressed and you see a dick, you don't have to you don't have to be like, well, we already here, we gotta fuck. So, you can literally just walk you're away. Gonna, like you don't have to do that, mind, bro. Yeah. You ain't gonna know what it's going like, bro. You be like, yeah, you don't drink your shit. No, spike your shit. No, nah, they ain't spiking. Spike, spike, I don't drink. They ain't spiking my spike shit. The, the coke. <laughs> Next thing you know, like I said, I'm gonna go to Thailand and I'm going to fuck like 30, 40. And I'm going to have the time of my life. I'm going to eat good. I'm going a, I'm to a get all these nuts out. And then I'm going to go back home. And I'm going to chill. You're going to wake up I'm with gonna, your I'm wife. going to be chill. I'm going to go buck around when I go over there, though. Best believe that. But once I get back, I'm going to be chill. That's the goal. That's, that's I'm good. not going to sugarcoat. That's I'm not, no, it sound amazing. You know, because that's exactly what the fuck I'm going to do. That's that sound real. That's what I'm going to do. You go I'm gonna gonna the fuck, if you go to Thailand, I don't know what you're going to do. But I know what the fuck I'm going to be doing. I'm going straight to the bar. going straight to the hotels. I'm looking for the bitches. That's what I'm looking for. Shout out, we respect women though. Shout out to the women, but I'm looking for them. That's just what it is. I ain't go sugarcoat. I ain't go beat around the bush. That's my goal. That's my objective. If y'all, if y'all hating on that, y'all like that shit. I really don't give a fuck. It is what it is. Be careful. You gonna wake up? Come back like Mike Magic Johnson. You gonna wake up? Hey, hey, I ain't say I wasn't gonna wear protection, but I am gonna do what I do. So, he gonna wake up with his wallet I'm gonna do what I do. and his booty hole blast. I'm gonna do what I do. Gonna we gotta make up. We gotta make up for the lost time. We gonna make, so. a, we gonna make a, a, a JTG Reap documentary. So I'm gonna go over there too. I'm gonna go over there with him and document everything. I don't think you. I don't think you. I think I don't think you gonna be allowed to go. But um, no shade though. But uh, Terrell can probably go. Terrell can probably go. I'll document it. Terrell can go. Uh, Ryan, I don't think you could go. Um. No, I'm going. I, I don't no, think you can go. I have to. I have to, I have to go. Can go. Have to go. Thailand. Well, I'm in Thailand. Yeah, well, I'm not about to. I'm not about to yeah, yeah, what happens? Build your mind and your body, and 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 fucking your game, and not see you, you know, go over there and flourish. Because like you've been talking all this shit about it. So I'm telling there, you, I'm telling you, when I get buff, when I get when I get big, when I get the body that I want, I am curving every all these females. They, they're getting. They, I'm going to do them. How the niggas that they want now is doing them, and I'm not gonna elbows. give a fuck. I'm not gonna feel. I'm just gonna be like, them, them elbows ain't gonna come down unless they trying to smash. I'll be like, all right, come, come through. I'm like, okay, we smash. You, you want to be my boyfriend? Hell no. You get the fuck out. I get the Uber, pick her up, boop, boop, boop. Do that for like ten years. Then when I hit forty, I'll be like, all right, now I want my, now I want my wife. All right, cool. That'll be good. <laughs>
That's 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 the layout. Okay, you know, let me ask you something. That's the layout. You think at forty, you think at forty, you're gonna be able, to, you're gonna be able to find a valid wife, like the kind of wife that you want. Yeah, because yeah, they're be twenty-two. Yeah. She'll be twenty-two. Yeah, I'll be like, I'll be what they want. They like the old man, right? I'm just playing, Passport playing the time bros. game. He ain't getting Passport no girl that's bros. his age. Hey, yeah, hey, hey, hell no! Not at that point. I, I wouldn't want one at my age. At, at forty point, years old, you gonna be with a twenty-two-year-old? Yeah, like that's that. a, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. But For think him. about this. What the fuck? A thirty-year-old, uh, what are y'all uh, gonna talk 30? about? You gonna be talking about all that old shit? Hell yeah! yeah. yeah. We, gonna gonna we gonna educate. We gonna educate. We gonna educate. But think, think about whatever app that's gonna be out at that time. Twenty years from yeah, that one nah. 10 years from now. <laughs> like, 10 years from now. He said 20 what? years, man. That's some shade, but you got it. 10 years, no shade. Uh, 10 years from now, what the hell are you going to talk about, bro, with her? Like, how y'all going to connect? I mean, I, I'm not, I'm going to connect with someone that's like into gaming, like some type of basic, like I'm still going to be a gamer at that point. It's not like I'm going to quit gaming. Like, that's de that's definitely going to be with me until I die, until I'm in that box. I'm going to be a fucking gamer. So I'm probably going to have a girl that's into gaming. So that's gonna be in line with what stuff that's that I can cool. do. We can bond over that. We got something to come. I'm not gonna just go to the club and buy like a random bitch in Atlanta and talk about some. Yeah, you the baddest bitch here. I want you to be my wife. Hell no, that's stupid. Atlanta. <laughs> like, it's, like that's just that's, most... that's just the cookie cutter place to find one. But that that's just you sound like sneaker. That's right just now. an example. That's just like if you if you want to be that type of dude that's 40 years old, you want to get a 20 year old you have nothing in common with that's just there that wants your money. That's just a bad bitch. Air quote outside air quote then your stupid ass gonna get played and you're gonna be sad and you're gonna be like well i chose her she was perfect like she perfect in looks <laughs> but that's you all you get a got. regular girl yeah i'm gonna get a regular girl simple Where can you find the regular it's girl nothing that? Passport that? starbucks bros starbucks starbucks, starbucks. Oh, okay Passport gas bro, station bro. working so third glad, shift I'm, you're gonna I'm go glad. starbucks fishing looking for you one and then you know what i'm, I'm saying? glad so you woke up I'm glad you woke up. Like, like I'm not going yeah, to I'm like I'm not up. gonna be on Instagram with my blue check. Like, hey girl, you know I think you look good. What the band? Hell no, nah. I ain't finna be doing that. Hey, I'm gonna be like that. You know that dude that you posted in um Instagram? I'm gonna be like him. Who? I'm, that's a thirst trap for them because uh, I look through the comments. I'm like, I was like, uh, watch, watch the comments be all bitches be no niggas in there. I was like, let me look at the comments all. Bitches, not one. I mean, dude. all right, below, not below, one below. dude. Think about this. Think about it was this. all females. They was thirsting over this. Man. It was no dudes. It was no dudes. I mean, like, oh, shout it. out, brother. Care of himself. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like, let's let's be real. That's what yeah. I would be doing when, I, at I, that I, point. I follow two. Well, actually, I don't follow him. I follow this other guy. If you if you follow, I mean, if you taking care of yourself, right? You got like you're a good head on your shoulders. You consuming the right products. You are reading books. You taking care of your your family. When his family is like the dogs. Taking care of them, you're taking care of your body, and like you have no issues, no baggage. Why wouldn't everybody? He does have my, to to become that great. You have to go through trauma. It's not like you just become great like that. Men don't. Andrew Tate, men don't just wake up and be like that. Men don't. Correlation there. Okay, Andrew <laughs> Tate. Andrew Tate wasn't like how he was his whole life. He wasn't like this dude that was buff as hell and had had all his money his whole life. He said himself, "I grew up poor." Um, they really had too many, too many girls with me. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, I just, trauma. I just woke up. I woke up and I, um, became better. I, I learned about finances. I got my money up, and now I got all these women. Like men like that are made. Like they're made like that. They're forged. Like he I probably went through some shit. He wasn't looking like that in 2005. I promise you, he wasn't looking like that. Or they grew I mean, up. Man, probably was a jit. to take care of themselves. Yeah, bro. Get a Terrell, Terrell, Terrell. You don't have to. Have let's be, let's, trauma, hey. trauma could be a trigger for it. Trauma could be a trigger for it. But, but it's not usually. Take care happens. of your, you know what I'm saying? Taking care of yourself, kind of. Terrell. You just, just grow up and do it. Like, see, Terrell. See, like, I'm talking about like it's. I'm not yeah. saying. I'm talking about like. Really, really, like, like on on a scale of like. Okay, we talking about the top ten percent of men, right? Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let, let me let, let, let get some gas. The top one percent. Top one percent. Top ten percent. Okay. Okay. If you if you if you get like this, like you seen the house he was living in. Okay. You seen the house he lived in. A lot of girls are like, dang, what you do for a living? Like, like it's just all up on his tip. But you see the house he he had to work for that. He, I'm not saying trauma is like he lost his mama. And he, he he. I'm talking about trauma as he had to work very hard for what he has. That that's forged. That you don't just work? wake up and just get that. You don't wake up and just you're a CEO of a company. You have a fucking house. Hey, let me post though. a thirst okay, trap yeah, of yeah, me living yeah. my life. Yeah, I think that's I think traumatic. you have to. I think you have to take what you're saying and like redirect like your your thought process because you're saying trauma, but trauma is literally something negative that you go through. 
And it's not saying that he had to go through anything negative or any kind of adversity. What it was is that your muscles go through trauma when you work out. What the fuck? That's not trauma, bro. <laughs> That's not true. It, 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 gets, it gets damaged and then it repairs itself. That's not well technically. It builds yes. itself. Technically, I mean it's yeah. I mean I could I could use a different word, oh, but it's, it's like that you, you get what I'm saying. It could be it's probably another I, I word that's like I, I don't but the thing is like communication is really important because trauma is super <laughs> adverse. Like what that means is like you've gone through something terrible in life. I mean being poor might have been terrible for him, but or it could have been like you know it could have set up that mindset to where he's like you know I don't I never want to be like this again. I want to grow out of this. But what he's saying, what Terrell is trying to say is that you don't have to go through bullshit to be like okay, like I want to live a better life for myself because well, I not. feel like I'm because I feel like I'm on that path and I haven't been through trauma. I, I already feel like I don't want to yeah, be on my. I don't want to be on my computer unless I'm making some shit or gaming to make some shit or I'm talking to one of y'all. I, sometimes I'm literally on my phone and I'm just like, I don't want to do this shit right now. So I, start, I literally started reading a fucking uh, a book because I was like, you know what? I don't want to be on my phone right now. Like, I don't want to be, I want to be productive. And I've been doing this for, I'm not going to say a year, but like probably since episode 20 or so that we was reading the shit. Like me going to the, the gym and, and working out is like, it's not to attract people. It's, it's really just, like, to take care of myself, to feel better, like, to literally just to feel better. Like, so I feel like my heart isn't just going to fucking explode from me eating all these calorie-dense, fucking cholesterol-dense-ass foods, and I don't feel like shit. Because I, I feel happier, I feel less stress, I feel more carefree when I'm working out and doing all this shit. And I feel like a, a process of you, when you figure that out, and you live through that process... Then that's when you literally just start bettering yourself. When you see that the shit doesn't matter, I don't. I don't feel like he's gone through like thirty women and they're just like cheating on him and doing all this shit. And it's just like fuck it. I mean, that might be some people's process. But what Terrell is saying is that naturally, like people grow up and mature, and that that doesn't necessarily mean that like they don't do anything. That they don't do things that they didn't do as kids. But it's just that when you grow up and you realize that you have to take care of yourself, or you're not gonna fucking survive. Like, that's not trauma. That's just a realization. Or it's just, like, you just being. I mean, I think that's everybody's process. Until you realize that you're not going to survive unless you do some other shit to take care of yourself, then, like, it is what it is. And because, like I said, he's taking care of himself, and he's like, well, I mean, you know, reels are a shining example, a shining example of somebody's life. It's just like a little picture, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A little cutout of somebody's life. But because he has this reel and it looks like he has everything screwed on together and tight, then people are like obviously attracted to that because nobody wants somebody that's damaged or has baggage or has gone through a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm man, saying, definitely he's damaged that at this point. Day. I'm saying where he's at in life, you don't get there without going through something. You've been through something. There's a reason you got there. You didn't. Just, why do you say you didn't go through nothing, though? no hardships at all in life, and it's just get to that point? It doesn't have. That's to That's what be I'm hard, saying. Bro. Like yet, that's what I'm. It doesn't have to be, but it is. That's just how it is. Like like, nah. and it doesn't. Have, I'm not saying everyone is like that, but for the majority, that's usually how we learn. Like we learn from adversity. Adversity, correct? No, no, bro. It doesn't right. have to be that way. I'm not saying it, I, it doesn't have to be that way, but that's the way it is, though. Like, I you mean, it sounds good. Like, it, it shouldn't have to. I, I'm, I'm with you. It, it shouldn't be like that, but that's how it is. And, well, like, not, that's what I'm I saying. They're like, like, how do I manifest a guy like you? He been through some shit. He probably the nigga that's right next door to you that you keep fucking curvy. He might end up just like him, better than him. But you don't, you ain't fucking with him. So when he get his shit right and he get like that... You're going to be under his shit talk, asking him the same question. Guess what? <clears throat> but ass don't think. You ain't thinking. So that's See, just how it is. is they're made. Agree. Like men like that are made. Like I can just tell. Like men like that, they're made. They're not just born. They're made. Like there's some things that you've been through that um, be like, okay, this is what I want to do. I'm going to do this. Like you said, you got to you gotta realize no one's going to take care of me to walk the bam and I want better for myself. You really realize that after you've gone through some shit numerous times i'm not saying a hundred times it's some, some people's thresholds is, thresholds are different than others some is like one time and that's all it took some is three times some seven times some ten times but they went bro, through something and it was bro, like okay well now i'm gonna do this bro what i'm trying to explain to you is that it's not about going through anything and it's not it's definitely not about men it's it's men and okay. women it's 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 everyone and like i said it's not 
adversity that might that might have been like your experience okay. so you're projecting your experience onto like other people okay every well, millionaire is like that, when that you go, tells you no, no, how to no, no. make a million when dollars you, tell you, you it's a lot of hard work elementary and, a lot of decisions and then middle school and then high school and then college like you always have to grow and mature to get to the next level like, like that's literally just life. yeah it's that not... that's natural yes to, to mature and, and, and become wiser to do better for yourself but again Every millionaire, every successful man that you know that that you see online will t will share their story. But like, I had to do this, I had to do this, I had to do all of this overnight. I had to work all these hours. I had to cut people off. I had to go through all this emotional gymnastics. I had to mental breakdowns to make this happen. Right? That's trauma. When have you ever heard that story of someone getting to that point without that? Let's be honest. Trauma, Let's be honest. Bro. When, when, when Andrew Tate talked about how he got up there, trauma. The when we talk trauma, about bro. when we talk about um grinding, that's not gr trauma. Grinding, <laughs> grinding ain't trauma. No, bro. I'm not saying not, working for what you want we, is wait, trauma. On, I'm saying there's this stuff we, that comes with the with the territory. Like that's what we, that's what you're not getting. Trauma right now? Are we going no, we're not going right through now? trauma right now doing this. I'm not saying we're going through trauma doing this right now. It's not trauma. But we're grinding. I'm just saying, yeah, we're grinding, but eventually we're probably gonna have to go through some. Let's say YouTube bans us or some shit. Not speaking shit into existence. Let's say that shit happened. We had to start all the way over, but we get, eventually get to where we want. That's a fucking hardship. That's like, that's a, that's some but that's crazy not, ass shit. Imagine we though. had like 500k and we lose that shit and we got to get that shit back. That shit, that shit will put us down. We'll be sad as fuck about that shit. I said something about that earlier. About yeah, we'll be sad as fuck about that, wouldn't we? But that'll make us um, go harder to get what we need. I'm saying when it comes to men and women, trauma is two different things. It's not the same. You're trying to pull us all together. I'm not saying it can't be the same thing. This, this is what I'm trying to say. This is what I'm trying to say because you keep trying to pull everything together. For, trauma builds character in men. Does not do it for women. It scars women. It builds men. Some men break from trauma. That that's that's just how it is. That's how it's been. No. That's simple. Tra trauma makes better men. Let's mm. let's keep it a stack. No. Mm. Let's keep it a stack. <laughs> it does. All the war when when we when they had World War One and World War Two. Does it? Motherfuckers does it? was stepping up when it, it, they had no choice. Motherfuckers were stepping up. Does it make better men? Does trauma really breed better men, or is it? I'm not saying you need mentality? trauma. I'm just saying if, if, if we're talking off pure numbers, if we're talking about like percentages, like it has a better chance of building a man up than breaking him completely compared to a, a to a, to a, a woman the in the same situation. I think the older generation of men went through a lot of trauma. They did. They did. As children. They did. They did go through a lot of trauma. Yeah. This is not that's true. Why, because that's why everyone's trying to But they wasn't wise. Then, then us, we could go back to the topic about how we was talking about black people and the trauma that we fucking been through. We would be on top of the fucking world right now if what you're saying is true. It's not true, bruh. <laughs> It's like trauma, it, it, and first of all, it's not hardship. They don't equal each other. Trauma is a terrible distress reaction that you have because of something like a terrible accident or something that happened in your life, which is like the tornado smashing your fucking house, you getting sexually assaulted. That's fucking trauma. Hardship is not trauma. You can build character through hardship for men or women. There's not women that have like haven't gone through trauma or gone through shit in their life that it's just like I you said, know what i'm gonna cower and feel like I this said, is for every said, single person what i said was I, I said on average men who go through hardships or trauma has a better chance of being built up from it than a female counterpart i didn't say it was impossible for a female counterpart that's what i said yeah. and you just said they're not from the cower i didn't say that it's impossible i'm I saying think, it's I a think. lower percentage wise if that was the case we have more women cleaning sewers we have more women doing garbage routes they don't want to do think. it because they don't want to do the job they don't want to do the dangerous jobs so obviously there's some truth to that yeah, there's that yeah, obviously there's goes, some truth to that women, correct i think women go through more no, trauma than men not, okay, they go okay, through trauma on, with their on, hold on, um hold on hold on to because i don't i don't want to lose this track before he forgets <laughs> um you just said that that's why women aren't doing the hard jobs but that's not the fucking case the case is because men have always been doing the hard jobs because the women didn't have rights that's not that's they're open no to court. do whatever job they want to right now right okay but the, we've literally always been doing the hard jobs because the women's job okay and the they house, can do it right cook, now but they're still not create kids so because that was their job then the men already had the foundation for doing those things and because we have sexualized them they can make bags from just selling their body and selling sex and that's why they don't do those jobs we do it because they have privilege and we don't 
and you said this thousands of times, these don't equal each other. So I, I prefer not to stay, not to go down that route because it's completely different. There's nothing to do with trauma and hardship. I think anybody can be built from trauma and hardship and whatever they go. And like any kind of adversity you go through may build character. It may break you. And that goes for men, women, men and women are in our mental hospitals. I don't think this is a gender thing. This isn't like, this isn't about men or women. This is just about people Did because everybody don't, go, don't, don't break from trauma. But men this is do about, break from fucking trauma. But did I? But did I say men but don't break from tra trauma? What you ever? said, what you said was trauma builds men, and you said that adversity is the way it is, and because you made it so definite, that makes it false. And now there's no, there's like, well, I haven't seen a study on this, but because you said it that way and you you communicated it that way, it's just not true. Because like I said, there, like, if, if that was, and also, also, if that was true, then men wouldn't have higher suicide rates than women. Like it's it's just not fucking it's, this is factual. So like what I'm what I'm trying to explain to you is that you can to achieve anything in life, you have to go through something. You have to go to the next level. But that doesn't equate trauma. Trauma is like that's like the most negative of negative. I don't think you understand that. Like in order to in order to become a better athlete, you have to push your limits. In order to become a better businessman, you have to push your limits uh, in order to become better at speaking you have to practice that and learn things and like literally like you literally have to learn things like in your brain you have to overcome limits and think differently but that doesn't equate that's not trauma that's that's not even hard to be honest that's just building different habits and connections and you're breaking out of boxes that's what that is that's what i'm trying to explain to you like because i agree to you until you say like trauma builds men like that's literally like that's that's false because if that was the case then all of us would be in the fucking military right now all of us would be seals right now we should all that should be required of us to go through that training that's the most probably that probably is the most traumatic shit that you could do we should all go in gas chambers to realize how important it is to have clean fucking oxygen no dead ass we should we should all we should all literally be tear gas so we can realize how important it is we should all uh we should all live through strokes actual trauma to know how important it is to fucking exercise and not sit on our ass for two to three hours every day like if that if that was the case but that like this is factual. like you literally could just grow up be put in an environment where you're always playing sports and like now you have like this athletic body and you want to continue that because that's the only life that you know or you realize like okay in order to make money i need to do this and you continue doing that and you're just building it and after the process of being consecutive with your building being consistent then you get to that level but like it doesn't mean that you need to be destroyed mentally in order to to become hard or strong because i feel like i haven't been to that but i'm already on the right path i feel like i've always kind of been on the right path i mean there's been a point where i was just like damn i'm kind of stagnant right now do i really want to go to the military do i really want to do this you know what i'm saying you went but to the I, extreme. I don't feel like you went to huh? the extreme and then you brought it back to you i was talking about the majority i'm talking about like i'm talking about population so, like so, you saying like 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 what you described was literally how you came up <laughs> what you just described <laughs> like I, I i'm following you i get what you're saying but i'm just saying like most other most other men that look like you they don't have what you have like let's let's keep this that let's keep this shit realistic and level they don't grow right. up like you they don't have what you have they don't have parents they don't have fathers they don't have they don't have people that sign them up for sports they don't have this shit they have the streets they go through trauma in the streets. They get shot at in the streets. They learn shit in the streets. They grow up. They try to get a job. They can't because they, the lifestyle that they live in, they get fucked up or they can't do what they want to do like you. They probably want to play football like you did. They probably want to go to the gym like you did, but they can't afford the fucking bus route to go there because they grow up in the fucking streets because they can't. I had a friend growing up. His name was Anthony when I was in New York, fifth grade. He was a good kid. He wanted to play sports, but couldn't because he was in the fucking streets and his mama wasn't around. She was on crack. His dad was gone and he couldn't do what he wanted to do play sports. So he was doing he was doing what he was doing he was on the wrong track but that was the that was the way he that's the card he was dealt and he didn't care about fitness like he at a certain point he just stopped caring about fitness and all of that and then i get a friend request from my old foster mama a couple years ago and she knows anthony and he changed his life he goes to the gym now he said he he took him a long time took him a lot of trauma he had to go through a lot of shit to figure out what he wanted what he needed to do to get his shit in order 
and that's the majority. I'm not talking about you. I understand. There's no, no, no. That's that's where you fucked up. I was following you, but just like I described a situation, a scenario, because honestly, that's not the majority because we are minorities in this situation. So the majority is not like us. So that's number one. Number two is that is Anthony's life. I understand that's his life. That's an example. That's a valid example. And I agree with everything that you said. I agree with literally everything that you said. He went through hardships. He went through trauma. He was already trying to do the right thing. And then he realized that he could, you know, make something of of himself. And he did. So that's congratulations to him. But that's also a specific example. And you said that's the majority, but it's not the majority because the majority of people aren't in the streets because we're minorities. Shouldn't you, if if your logic is correct, shouldn't the majority of people in the street be successful multi million dollar men? They, they get killed before they go they through get, the they most. Re- they, reach they, they, they get the most killed trauma. before they reach their potential, bro. But if you're killed. okay, so then let me but ask trauma, you this. Let me ask tra- you this. Okay, yeah, you between ahead, between yeah. men and women, who goes through the most trauma? If we're talking about trauma building character. Who goes through the most trauma between men or women? Really think eyes? about this, bro. Really think about this. Because, I mean, I'm not going to say anything, like, to, to uh, alter your opinion, because your opinion is valid. Everybody can have their own opinion. We all have different scopes on life. We grew up with different situations. However, just think about how we live as men and think about how women live. Take your time. And with the history of men and women and the future of men and women. For the future, it might be getting better, but like, just like, really think about the positions that we're put in, or like, what happens to us, like our our growing processes, like for real, bro. I want to see what he says because I like I I, like, <laughs> I want to see what he I, says. I, I'm taking it all in. I'll give I'll give it to the women for that. I'll give it to the women for okay. that. Okay. So then right. you said it wasn't impossible for women. I said it wasn't impossible. Over. Okay. Right. So then, statistically speaking, if this is all correct. Women should be way more successful than men then because they go through the most trauma. But I said, I said, I, no, 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 no. Before you twist that, before you twist that ankle, hold on. Let me, let me tell you what I said. I said, it is not impossible that women can't be built up from trauma, but on average, most women will break from trauma before a man would, a man would. That's what I said. So uh, like we talking like, um, tra- uh, we talking blow for blow on average, men will accept it more than a woman would they'll yeah, break easier but then the that's what i'm saying rates are higher in men there's, than women so yeah, then yeah but there's also but here's one thing here's it you like to jump on that but let me tell you something to rebuke that there's more women on this world than men so why are and that's the case suicide Be- rates higher because there's no answer for that <laughs> Because men break from trauma. You, you have because a they have to hide it. But there's flaws in your point because, like you said, there are definitely more women on this planet than men. So that that like it wouldn't make sense that our suicide rates are higher. And I, I just think that has to do with like women having more support than us. And they're they they uh they kind of have that a is better, true. That's a, that's valid. Women 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 have a lot more support and they have more community than we do. So um because they have that support and community like you know they're always supporting each other even if they're ugly even if they're not really doing much they're always supporting each other they're always lifting each other up and which is uh, like that, that goes on another tangent well i mean the majority that's true, of the time, that's true let me not say There's, all let me not say all no nah, i was about to debunk something real quick there is men have the slight lead <laughs> as far as men to women in the world men have the slight lead for real yeah for 102 real. men for 100 women but look, 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 like, like Denzel, I don't, like I said, I don't want to argue your experiences because like I said, we grew up with two different scopes on life, two different outlooks. We grew up in two different neighborhoods with different privileges. I may be more privileged than like the average black man and I don't know it, but what I'm saying is, um, mm-hmm. like anybody can go through trauma and hardship. Right. But I, I don't necessarily think that that is required in order to be successful. I think what's required is mental fortitude, discipline, and discipline discipline is acquired through continuing to do hard shit even when you don't want to. You know what I'm saying? Like I was sick. Well, I I, I felt I had a terrible fucking sinus headache the other day. I went to work. I woke up early first of all. No, I went to bed late. I went to bed at 4 a.m. I woke up at 10 a.m. 
I went to work from 11 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. I came home, still spent time with my girlfriend. We still made food. I, and I still had this headache. I didn't go to sleep. I got my ass up and I did a hard ass workout while I had this headache. My head was throbbing, bro. I did this fucking workout. I got on this computer. I made some shit happen. And then I went to bed. I felt like a fucking G because I like I just did that shit. Like I, I literally oh, went to work, busted my ass at work. Well, I didn't really do that much at work. Let me stop lying. But I went to work, you know, or somewhere I didn't want to be. I came back home. I worked out even though I had this throbbing headache and I didn't want to. They say you're supposed to rest when you're sick. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I think uh, discipline is required in order to build wealth, character. Like you, like like you said, you have to go through something. But what that's something that you need to go through is change. It's not necessarily trauma because trauma is like, I don't know how to like explain it. I can only give examples or analogies. And but you, but you, you're not dumb. Like you know what the fuck trauma is. You know what I'm saying? Trauma is like. It's like when you're when you're shivering in the fucking cold because and like your body is like you're uh, you're getting frostbite everywhere because of how fucking cold you are. It's like the the worst like kind of extreme. You know what I'm saying? That's what trauma is. So I think in order to get better, you need to build discipline and go through change. But I don't think that has to be trauma. Now, for people that you know and people that you like lived around, people that you live with. And being in that environment, like being in the foster home, being like homeless, not being as privileged as somebody like me or fucking Terrell, then I understand that like the hardships that you go through are traumatic. So it's like what you know, and you can, you know that you can build like, I mean, shit, look, you're an example of that, of coming through some shit, of, of making it through some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you're an example of that, even though you might not be where you want to be, like you're still fairly intelligent you still have a great vocabulary you still have interest in the right things you're still not in the fucking streets you're still very creative and like have people telling you that you have limitless fucking potential i don't know if devin is raising his hand or what no, he's playing the sad violin oh so telling you that you have limitless potential me being one of those people i don't know how you're what you are even though you've been in those fucking circumstances and when i learned about some of those things like i became proud and i well not proud but i use that shit as motivation because like you're in my circle so i like i believe like damn like you can do this then you know like possibilities are endless for somebody that was way more privileged you know what i'm saying so you have been through traumatic experiences absolutely and you have made something because of that and you're on the road to better things but all I'm trying to tell you is that that is not exactly required in order to be successful because not everybody goes through shit like that. And I feel like, well, I'm just going to say I feel because I don't know, I don't know uh, uh, personal examples. I don't have any statistics, but I've seen people go through shit and been broken, whether they were men or women. Like, from their friends passing, and they, we literally went to the same middle school, melting pot of everybody, Ivy League middle school. And their friend passed, and, like, because of that, they turned to, like, bullshit, because, like, one of their best friends is gone. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And this guy was a man. And I, I know more men than women. Like, I'm, I'm friends with more men than women. And I've seen people be broken from from just emotional issues just because, like, they can't deal with it or because they don't know how to or, like, whatever the case may be, bro. So, yeah. I mean, I agree with you to a certain extent. I just don't think it's that black and white. There's a shit ton of g uh, gray area. Now, Devin, I heard you go, hmm, a lot of times. Would you care to elaborate on why you was doing that shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I, okay, at the end of the day, both genders go through trauma and hardship. It's about how you, you know, have the will to resolve that or just let it take you down with it. At the end of the day, everybody has a choice. And for that choice for you, do you want to keep living like this? Or do you want to get up and fucking make that first step towards something better in your life? Because, yeah, everybody's come from different backgrounds here. You know, Denzel's had probably had it harder than you or I. Or I may have had it easier than both you and Terrell. It's just all about what you experience as a man or a woman. If you allow that trauma to take over you, then you're no better than anything so it's all about getting through it and just overall having a resolution towards the problem you know because like you know life is going to have its up and downs everybody's gonna you think millionaires don't go through hardship still 
or just people who ain't got nothing go through hardships. Everybody's going to go through some kind of hardship. It may not be a hardship equivalent to yours, but it's going to be some form of hardship. Even as we're still growing and still learning, even when we're in our late 20s, we're still going through hardships. Some people still can't pay their fucking bills on time. Some people can't even afford food in the fridge. Some people barely got a fucking place to lay their head. It's all about how you come out of this. That's what makes it better. And with that, with wise words from Devin, that's been episode 50 motherfucking two, man. A year of doing this goddamn shit, man. Happy birthday to the podcast, man. Happy Spam birthday, happy bro. birthdays in the fucking chat or the, the comment section. Uncle W. Uh, hopefully y'all like this long ass episode. This is two hours. You haven't done a two hour episode in like fucking, I don't know how long. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. If you're listening to this shit in your car, at home, at work, whatever the fuck you're doing listening to the audio version, we fuck with you. Keep doing it. And uh, yeah, man, we'll be back next week, season three. Season motherfucking three. We're going to have more guests. We're going to do some more shit on the channel. We're going to bring some people on this podcast, man. Facts. Uh, we, we're going to have some different videos popping up on the on the YouTube channel, man. I know Rod's probably going to start cooking on, on something. We're going to try to record something, hopefully, another tier list for y'all. Yeah, man. And uh, yeah, hopefully, I should have this video done soon. Hopefully, by sometime in the near future, between before the next episode, you'll get another video of like a compilation of funny moments from the, the last two seasons and whatever. Enjoy it. Motherfucker, we're going to have different shit coming up on this damn channel. Not going to be just a podcast. Share this shit with your friends. Share this shit with your, your cousin, your uncle, your, your mama, your grandma. I know we curse a lot in this shit, but hey, man, it's just love moms. It's how, it's how we come up, man. This man say he, love, he loves him some milfs. <laughs> <laughs> Not even like that. We just, we just, we value a lot of people's intakes. And we do this, don't think this is like, don't think this is just an on camera thing act. We do this shit off the camera, bro. That's what makes Thanks. us. More authentic. We blend so well, and we can just do this shit off the camera. We're not like everybody else that say, "Oh, all right, it's done. All right, time to go." Ah, oh, fuck, I hate you. Nah, <laughs> we do this shit all the time, bro. So please, like, please show the channel some love, man. Yeah, really man, I hate, I hate, I hate all three of these guys equally the same, man. They stop. <laughs> but with that, it's been you guys. We got Rod, Denzel. Devin, the four kings, man. Season three next week, man. Hopefully, maybe we'll take a week off. Man. Have y'all, have y'all, have y'all surprised? <laughs> You're like, where the episode at? <laughs> man, it, it's been, it's been you guys, man. We got this bitch. Adios. Peace. Yeah,